Kings in terms of RQ Hoshi. Actually, the exact same for both sides. Mm -hmm. uh, so possibly a Minotaur ban may be on the way. It's probably a, a um, comfort ban that they know Team Logan likes to run. So there is going to still open up uh, some of their favorite picks. Maybe we see the Benedetta again. It definitely worked out before. Um, it was very hard to keep up with. Uh, the Claude, if Skylar can pick that up, I think he uh, executes well on that. And it looks like they're not going to ban it out. They do go in for the Navaria, though. We've talked about mm -hmm. the Navaria not really being talked about that much or uh, shown as one of those key heroes last game. But it had a heavy impact, especially with uh, the Chat, honestly, like, and also the massive damage output. I don't know if there's permission to even do this, like, uh, but all the other casts and so streamers are just streaming it. This, and they don't even have permission. Of, uh, they just said, fuck it. So I'm like, I'm going to risk it and say, fuck it. Cause I am watching this and I thought I might as well watch it with you guys. Same bands, except of Novaria being added to this. So we'll see. Ruby. We'll see how Is it goes. Why skip first game? I didn't know how people are watching from, it. Uh, I didn't ask. Ocean, I believe, right? It's third and, party. Uh, why I need permission? I don't know. I don't know. Reason, and, uh, I everyone like, tried to get permission. They had no idea. So I was like, all right, fuck it. We're going for it. In these games. So I don't know who is first pick. So I would I'm assuming it was. I like the Ruby too. Honestly. Wait, what? So why is the format like see. this? So Ruby was uh, first pick a strong impact. You can from Little Gun. You can I don't know why they have position. it like the format where they don't yeah, show who got it first. Uh, but again, they're just showing whichever uh, person picks the heroes, uh, I guess. That's an interesting way to do it. Never seen that before. Against the Benedetta, I'm not sure how that's. CC priority is kind of crazy. Again. Uh, a similar All right, huge picked it right away. Dude, I knew CC was good. I knew CC was meta for sure. Even now, you, now the CC teams just picking it right away. Both games. I knew CC was goaded. I'm wondering if Team Logan is gonna go in for that so that they can have another realm as well. No, I don't think they. But I don't know. The Ruby I mean, first pick's interesting. It can flex. Would be so much Ruby curse. How's it Ruby curse? What happened last game? I didn't see. About Ruby, it's like kind of hero when you when this hero play on your yeah, side. Yeah, Putin did like an opening speech or something. I saw someone say that. I was like, whoa, it's crazy. Her impact. That I didn't is, think he did himself involved. Against it, oh my god, it's like <laughs> it stands. And I'm not invited. No. You not wanna be stunned. Mardis, Lilia. <laughs> well, I get the Lilia the to counter yeah, the so Faramus. If you don't know already, well, Lilia is very good versus Faramus in the early landing phase. You can bully him quite hard. Uh, they uh Martis, I know little Mongolia Martis. likes the Martis. So, but I don't really know why they would pick it like right away here. There's really not a lot of CC to go off of, but they like them but Martis and M5 too. So, mm. Uh, which we will have to watch out for. Team Logan, they had the Barats before. It was a jungle bully, uh, but it just didn't really work out the way they kind of planned it. Kaja. So they're going to be a little bit more aggressive now. Uh, with I don't... Martis, that's a weird Kaja pick. Possibly open the doors for them in the early game, but you are going to see RQ Hoshi picking... Uh, it's actually... Okay, this Kaja pick... Okay, wow, this stream is really laggy. It's completely frozen, by the way. You can see the yeah, effects yeah, in the, the background, and their like, cameras are what's frozen. I don't know. <laughs> it's Terizla Ban. Terizla Ban is definitely good like, versus you know, when you have Faramis Kaja. Terizla is really good versus Kaja. It's because when you have ults, you wanted to counter ult with your ult. Went from Kaja and with the, the Terizla ult, I mean. The fleeing time, like, almost like first or, the, or second item. And uh, keep, keep using this ultimate. Keep ulting. Keep killing. So... But it didn't kind of work because when the Kaja pick is kind of good and kind of bad. Kind of bad because Kaja does not go well with Faramis or CC. But, uh, but there's a lot of heroes like that Kaja Kano can go with. So and now Little Gun has to worry about all those heroes like Kaja can go with. So they're going to try and ban what's the best heroes for what RQ's current comp is. So like carry, yeah. Carry really well with Kaja. So they're going to ban that. Another ban could be like an assassin. They already banned two assassins. Joey and Nolan both banned, so probably not an assassin that's getting banned. Maybe another kit marksman. Brody, Bruno. Or not Bruno, maybe Brody. I can see Brody being banned because it's also very well with Kaja. They are going to have first pick this time around, being second on the and on the red side for today's draft. Now, What's he really re re for? I just hope it goes to a game three. Like I said, the Ruby can be flexible. It's a, it was a very interesting first game. Uh, uh, like uh, whoever wins or whoever wins, you know. Support, they can sure. Match up, especially against the heels that the Faramis I think the Little Gun had a better draft more first more game, and they were executing it pretty well. But then they like threw, and RQ just has better better players, better team. Actually, banned out this time around. RQ winning would be nice. I hope RQ wins. I guess. RQ Hoshi off guard. It's just, this isn't like MPL, so it's like it's hard to really care about who wins. Of course, you, you as fans are going to care. 
And of course the prize pool, I guess prize pool 1 million is something to really care about. It's just hard to take it, like... Uh, yeah, I don't know, I won't say anything. Uh, have some, I don't know, maybe Rafaela, something just seems very like different, that, you know, uh, kind of tournament. Because like this format, for example, the draft pick, very, like, that, usually it's like left to right for who's ever picking first, but it's just whoever's picking is picking. Carry and the Claude being banned, uh, like double, double marksman this time. Homeboy's just double, yeah, homeboy's just brand? Oh, alright, let me run the direction really quick, I'll come back. Yeah, they are trying to limit some of the well, guys, the defending champions. A couple other ones that we do see sometimes sneaking up in there is the Irithel, uh, the Natan can be a viable option, the Bruno, the Brody. Nathan. All of these, uh, yeah. still some strong picks to be able to be slotted for either side. Uh, I am watching for uh, RQ Hoshi though, having that Kaja, that suppression. Uh, it can work, especially on the Martis, right? He's going to go in for these neutral objectives. If they can mm -hmm. grab him right before that uh, retribution mark, then you're going to be able to see Team Little Gun be able to, or uh, RQ Host be able to take some of these early turtles. So that is something to watch out for. And the Kaja is a counter to the Lilia because the Lilia can use the black shoes to be able to get uh, all that HP back that she has lost. But if the Kaja can hit it with the Divine Judgment right Ooh. beforehand, then it'll be an easy kill. The classic, the Beatrix. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's super strong hero. Still, still super strong hero. Like, you know this uh, when uh, some hero being nerfed just just a little bit. Everybody is like, ah, oh, it's unplayable now. It's we're not going to pick him anymore. <laughs> that you can see it's uh, not should be not treated this way because it, if it's like minor uh, fix, it's not the reason to not stop picking this hero. And uh, Beatrix is there, and uh, I would love to see. We should oh, play it so the there. Calm down, then. Beatrix. Okay, yeah, picks. Uh, Beatrix, yeah. Beatrix, Beatrix also a very good pick with side the Kaja. Skylar Beatrix as well. Very signature, Beatrix. notable pick. Ixia and Thamuz. Ooh. Okay. Thamuz, I don't know about her CC. Thamuz definitely wins in the early game, but CC will kind of outscale. But it's very good for that first turtle fight. Ixia. And the into their comp well. i'm and honestly confused about the ixia pick I, I don't like the ixia pick at all like, if i'm gonna be honest those heroes lance like like what is ixia going to do here versus rq's comp every time it's unless every time little gun's frontline is like, so strong and they snowball the early game to where rq can't die ixia and ixia has like a decent amount of peel Marius ruby but like if if little gun loses rq will snowball so hard kaja beatrix lance like they will get snowballed so fucking hard I thought I could do Rush Party. Yeah, I wasn't yeah, sure about it, but I saw all the everyone else doing it, so I was like, ah, fuck it, I'll do it. <laughs> the Womble Combo. Now they are keeping. I was like, ah, fuck it, I'll do it. Hoshi, right before the band's fi or draft finished, we did see Lancelot picked up, which means it's going to be Assassin in the Jungle. I haven't actually got to see a Lancelot game in a minute. Uh, I want to see if uh, he can get bigger. Some dashes, as we are going to be jumping into the Land of Dawn. But like we said, I'll go with 6 a.m. to watch now. I just haven't slept. My sister schedule's really bad right now. So it's like, all right, whatever, I'll watch it. Write a mail to Putin from your business and ask for permission. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> kind of leading the way for Indonesia up against Mongolia. Revving into the land of dawn. You see it right there. The virtual arena as ladies and gentlemen. Definitely support your favorite Are they playing? Well, they're playing LAN, right? The actual players. Like, I'd be surprised if they're not. They probably are. But there's no, like, live audience in here. So We're already in game. Let's see it. Okay. Kaja helping uh, Lilia is definitely the smart, smart play. Otherwise, Lilia can definitely chunk Fairness a lot and zone. So Definitely the proper play there. The mid lane, just showing up the enemy heroes. Yeah, like this matchup is not going to go well for Thamuz. CC will kite him out so hard. Thamuz can maybe all in if CC has no dash, but then she just uses Vengeance. It's a Vengeance versus Vengeance matchup. And I think CC will definitely like outscale. Thamuz is better, I think, until she gets her War Axe. You know, it's funny. This is the first time I've seen a, a Ruby getting chunked a little bit here by Okta. So I'm going to be paying a very close attention. Oh, uh, you're at. Going on Ethan here. Ethan, quite low. Brusco, quite low as well, though. Zexara. Going, gets the kill on Brusco. Clay, or Okta, quite low. Oh, wait, Zexara gets the ult. Kills Okta. Double kill for Martis. Huge snowball. Lance does have Rectory, but he won't be able to get Vision enough to take it. That's a horrible start for a Lancelot. That is a horrible, horrible start for Lancelot. Lancelot already needs to scale and is very weak early. And Amaris just literally 2 0 and now he's just perma invading and doing whatever he wants. The, the reverse sweep Little Gun style, man. And that's exactly what Team Little Gun is doing. Wow, that's super good.
Yeah, this is definitely a different story that we've seen in uh, game number one. I mean, some early aggression is going to work in their favor. With Martis picking up two kills, he's definitely oh, ahead of uh, Irad. Okay, in the gold crap. We are seeing this turn. We have a, a in the thousand. Next seconds, and you're already seeing. Oh, like a 1300 gold, gold lead. He didn't have the best. 13, 14 hundred gold lead for Logan. Like huge, huge two minutes in. This time around. Yeah, but it's like too early to judge, like you know. But it's a good Lance, start. To like one just hit four. Gold lead already, and working on Mars will get it for sure. Brusco just killed himself. Now another kill. Yeah. Decimation. Oh. For what Brusco is doing? I'll be honest. Yeah, no curiosity. I don't know what Brusco is doing. Cast our voice is too loud. Um, so okay. Three zero. I'll turn it down. Curiosity <laughs> killed the bird. <laughs> that is true because I do have that Kaja. And speaking of the bird, um, Kaja, Bruce, that's two Putin should be casting guys. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> oh, you're at not a great spot here. Ethan doing really good job zoning. But nice escape from Erad. Ethan was just standing up there in case Lance tried to dash out, but then Lance found another path. Dashing off of a Lilia. <laughs> oh, wait. He misses Dash. Lance is dead. Wow, bro. Erad's getting fucked in the jungle right now. 4 0 for a little gun. 2,500 gold lead. Oh, but. Ixi goes down. Rusko flick roll. Seems like they reloaded. Yeah, and you're gonna see uh, Bruce off screen. He's gonna catch Baybex. That's gonna be the first kill for. Demar is going for the hard snowball. Hunter strike. Death of the game. First item. He's gonna go over to Ethan on the Ruby. Four to one lead. Three kill lead for the side of uh, Team Logan. We can't see a turtle count. Yeah. Oh, it's just really small. Well. It's at 38 seconds. 30. 37. Strike. Our sides be picked up from the Martis for that additional pin. Is the build gonna stay there the whole time? Such an early aggressive jungler. But uh, look on the farm. It's been there for so long. The Beatrix is. Uh, Dominating actually Ixia with that. Uh, You're getting oiled up, yeah. Lead at this point, and uh, there's going to be it's getting oiled up for sure. The fight when uh, Beatrix is going to join the fight and maybe burst some. Oh, Ein's getting quite low from the CC. The CC probably has Warax now and probably just hurting him hard. Alongside the uh, <laughs> On top of that, like, like I don't know why they picked the Thalmus. I mean, I did see a they would have been so much better off with the different XP versus the CC. Like either a better hero to stomp or one that scales, but not Thalmus. I'm just saying, fucking going for the turtle. He's saying, fuck his whole bot wave. They're actually trying to swap lanes here. That's a fine play, but Ixie is so late that they're gonna get the whole gold plating, and she might just die. She's, she either dies or is forced to flicker. Yeah, Faramis is there. I think she just dies. Gets pulled back. Yeah, she's dead. Wait. No, she's dead. Oh, but Forbid's here. Faramis has flicker, though. If your Ruby does a flicker, they're not to use it. Ixia. Not Ixia. Uh, CC has no vengeance, but they can't kill her. No way. Yeah. That was a pretty bad rotation, honestly. Disadvantage on the Ixia. Yeah, Pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, zero, two, and zero right there. Definitely uh, needing to find a way to get their marksman online. Mars is so fed, but it doesn't matter if the Silenes so thrive. You're going to go ahead and see... Because uh, he cannot 1v9. Go so Mars is probably Little Gun's entire goalie right now. With his diff on E-Red. But the Silent Leaders are kind of trolling. Oh, Ethan! Really nice pull! On the Skyla! Skyla gets died! Flickers, doesn't matter! Bruce can also flick the ults, but it's not going to matter as well. I, uh, Octa has no ult because he used it earlier. Huge play. Ethan quite low. Needs some help. Irad cannot kill. I think it's full damage Lance because that Lance hurt a lot. Ethan initiation is so good. Just like Cho last game, he's kind of uh, vengeance. <laughs> uh, having his vengeance on this. Oh, the Chara. Who's the damn Briscoe here? Has no ult though. Still doing some damage. Gets the kill. He does have ult. The Spectre thing is fucking up. Zachara gets two. No, the cold altar goes off. Saves Jenny. I, I can't read that name. Genesante? Interesting name. Saves CC. You're right, he's off. Free ball tower for the whole gun. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to see on the Martis. And, uh, whew, let's see. But uh, as you mentioned, as you mentioned, Ixia need to start to. Uh, to play with the gold. He went out here last time, well, and said better than Kyrie. I mean, there's not much he could have done about the invades. It's kind of just draft diff. Like, Mars is just such an early game bully, and they're bowling really, really well. 
Ayn's very deep here. He has to get out. No vengeance for a few seconds. Gets it back. They probably don't have enough damage to kill him if he vengeances in time. Ixio with a very questionable ult. But you're at also 1 HP. He cannot contest his turtle. Increasing the further we go inside of this game, RQ Hoshi you need to find a way to pump the brakes. What do you think is a better match for CC? I already forgot what they banned, so I don't remember. I don't know. But like, not Thomas. You gotta pick a mobile XP that can either burst her and run, or all in with a bunch of burst damage to shred her, or you just get another XP that scales as well as she does. For their jungler. But they chose the worst option with an XP though, that frontlines can know, get kited and does not scale well. <laughs> online, but you are the I mean, he's good early game, don't get me wrong, but not in his CC because he can get kited but pretty well. But he's pretty good into Beatrix. I love that was into Beatrix. Against Kadra, it's kind of rough because Kadra can ult you before you can vengeance. But versus Beatrix, it's very hard for Beatrix without Flicker. Even with Flicker. If you jump on her to get away. And then you just vengeance if she tries to hit you back. What hero, for example? I mean, you guys can like figure it out. I don't know. We have to like name it out. <laughs> I don't know. Um, our lot's good for dashing in and out, burst at trading. Export can scale. A lot, a lot on sport. Oh, Skylar and Kaja Brusco both dead. Hold on, it goes off, but it doesn't matter. That was Flicker from Skylar as well. He still died. Dude, Mongolia might just snowball this game. They're 5k goalie aiming it's in. They need to get the Lord and get all out of turrets. Mongolia should snowball this game with Ixia. Ixia is very easy to siege with, which is just ults. The only way they lose is if Ixia just trolls and keeps being negative KDA and is used the whole game. And then that way, RQ Skylar will just slowly scale with Kaja, then he's dropping people off. But Mongolia, huge lead. Lilligun, Roger Chief, Lilligun's Mongolia. They got grouped in M5. They were, I mean, to be fair, they were in Burmese schools. Actually, a bracket where they in. I forget. Oh, yeah, see, like, that's what happens. If anyone gets picked off by Kaja, immediately, it's really good for RQ. Now RQ can fight this Lord. I don't know why Dex XR is coin flipping it. Wait. Oh my god, here I gets the retry. He's insane. CC gets the kill onto Ruby. What is Mongolia doing? Mars gets another kill. Is it going to matter? XR, 1 HP. Can he get out? Skylar looking for a kill here. I'm not sure we'll be able to get it. Saksara is probably going to die. CC's here as well. Lance here as well. He's probably going to take him out right now. And Zexara falls. But Skylar falls to Ainz. Bebex. What are we wanting? Irad. Irad. Almost kills him. Bebex first flicker. Irad quite low, but Ainz quite low as well. Ainz with no ult or vengeance has to run. Get stuck together. Forbid though. Forbid. 1 HP. Ainz 1 HP. Forbid uses the ult. Black Shrews pops. Irad. It gets caught out. Oh, he has double dash still. And he gets out. Ethan could not chain CC with his ult fast enough. Well, RQ immediately just evened the gold lead. They turned a 5k gold deficit like two minutes ago into an even, which is huge. Really good ult from Brusco to, and then good fall from Skylar to take out Lily there and immediately. It was a very, 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 very bad call for Little Gun to just coin flip the Lord. You're playing Mardis. Like, he had level advantage, but Lance ult retry is just so, so, so much stronger. Chatbot? Charles. Out, little goon throwing a little goon so far, to five. Even RQ Hoshi is little goon and kills, yeah little goon now leading the way in terms of turrets and the gold has almost equalized for both sides team little gun up by 1000 uh, but in terms of map control it is now favoring RQ Hoshi yeah I absolutely agree with this one I'm just wondering why team 151 Brusco I mean yeah but that set was literally like game changing right there that flicker pull I should have bought by the way oh Ainz Pops the ult, but did not pop vengeance. Okay, mistake from Ainz was the pop ult first and not vengeance. He should have popped vengeance first, then ult. I, I know what he, I know, even when I play Thomas, I'm tempted to ult first, then vengeance. So, like, I can't blame him. But right there, you got a vengeance first, then ult. 
Yeah, and the double ultimate. This layout with their foes is kind of necessary. Follow up, uh, kind of it's different. Uh, divine judgment, and uh, like so synchronized, like as uh, as soon as Kaja ult. Uh, like who is that CC? Banana. RQ Banana. I don't know who the mage is. That's the only one I don't know. I know Bru- Okay, well, Brusco is like the PH Rome. I forget who, what his name was. Erad, PH Jungler. Skylar. Self-explanatory. Erad. Yeah. An Octo? I don't know who Octo is. Clay is mage? Is it really? For the side team Logan, Don RQ Hoshi. Even, Even gold lead now, but RQ definitely has a better late game comp with better pick potential. Like everything is almost better. Little Gun needs like a miracle set from Ruby to pick off Skylar for RQ to have a chance. And even then, Erad could like 1v9 and kill the backline really easily on Little Gun. Little Gun can seal, but it's not going to do anything. Oh, Flicker all goes off, or all goes off from Ruby. Vengeance goes off from CC. Ben's rage goes off from Skylar. Skylar, though, getting chased by Ainz. Forced to flicker. Ainz seems like he's going to fall here. Oh, my God. It's over. It's going to be a 2-0. Wait, it might be GG here. Actually. 30 seconds. He's running. He's running. Boy, he's running. Forbid forced to ult here. Pops the black shoes, but still gets out. Okay, it's not GG. He's stalling a lot. Actually, this is a big top wave. Wait. Wave spawns? Okay, might be GG. Wave spawns in 10 seconds. Never mind, they don't end here. Surprise, actually. They maybe could have, but they didn't want to risk it. Wow, wow, what a turnaround, like, <laughs> and that's what was kind of reminding me of this game, like, checkers, uh, you call it, right? <laughs> when he was jumping on the minions, it was like, <laughs> like that kind of stuff. Little Putin oh, so throwing the game. Kills, the way he's rotating around, the way he Only a chill. Into oh, the yeah. to try and box out Forbid from escaping, but the black shoes at the last second to wrap back around into the uh, inhibitor for the t mid lane saved his life right there and avoided a full wipeout in a game ender uh, that could have been everything out for team low guns is they're currently sitting zero to one if new caster so this casters are war bar this is the english stream the casters are war barbie and uh step wheezy big advantage for group stage a yeah, your is definitely want to like taste, give them taste of the, their own medicine because of the early game. Like every time is invading his buffs, every time like harassing him in the jungle, and now he's going. They gonna pay for it. Lord push. Let's see. I think RQ can definitely end here. It's very easy for them to with you know you have Bennett's rage on like Beatrix to any sort of follow up Kaja does or ult. But it seems like RQ wants to play disciplined here and actually not go for anything. It's really not hard for Kaja to just ult someone and then they pick him off and they slowly try and snowball. They might go for it actually. It seems like they're still playing close, aggressive. They're, like they're trying to use Erat as bait, get Ruby to like flicker ult or something, and then turn around play. But nothing's happening, so they're just gonna chill. I think it's over for Little Gun though. Bamboo's is next to useless right now. Like, the only thing you can do is jump on Beatrix. And she just flickers and lives, and no one else can get on Beatrix. Yeah, I played good. Yeah, I did great this game. People are kind of shitting on him. He got fucked early, but then still be able to came back in mechanics. Bruce go with the flicker ult on to Thalvus, though. Zexara still alive. Oh, no, Zexara. Flicker back with Bebex. Wait, you're at dies. Wait, holy shit. Erad though is gonna live, but Little Gun defends with a flicker roll from Brusco. Octa fell as well, but he instant respawns, so it doesn't matter. Nice flicker back from Bebex there, and nice cancel on the land stash, but it wasn't enough to kill him. Did Erad even lose his ammo, or did he get out entirely? They was damaging everyone instead of like Pen the Erad, please. I want to see if he lost his ammo or not. I don't I didn't, I didn't check. They can kill all of them, but he probably didn't. If he still has it, he would have sold it, I think. When you put it like that on the every single person you can see around you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, now they go into defend and the team. But if Ruby has no flick roll, they literally have zero backline dive. Come back and maybe potentially five versus like none. Bombers alone uh, needs to catch her out of position because she has a dash. Even if he jumps on her, he'll be oh. Oh, kind of Ruby on the CC. CC cannot get out here. CC with this winter crunch. 
So guys, lose the demo. Dines with the front line. TJ Falls. Banana, what are you doing? Banana, hello. Five before Lord now. Brusco is up though to look for a pick trade. Wow, insanely good, you know, the, the freeze into the immortality and on top of that, uh, Faramis tried to ult, but he actually like slipped a little bit and the ult didn't... Yeah, he kind of went way too far up there. It might be enough Bro, pulled a me. Oh, the, ultimate divine judgment the Sky... Oh, wow. Okay, Faramis free lord. Free lord. To follow up on Beatrix with the damage, Be Brusco just ulted and Skylar just been in rage. They have no burst now, except for Erad. So Erad might go for something? Oh, Erad's dead. Okay, now I'm free lord. Oh, but Ainz had to trade for that. Okay, that's worth it, because Ainz has no ult. Actually, mm. they can still win this fight, RRQ. Oh my god, 4 bits 1 HP. He has to ult there. Bebex, 1 HP as well. Bebex flickers out. He's going to die still, but Skylar falls as well. It's Bruce, Bruce, Bruce going off the left. They can't lower though. They don't have DPS. 4 bit 1 HP. Why did you... Wait. Is 4 bit lit? No, flicker from Kaja. Zexar not in a good spot as well. Second seal's out. Has, no, has ult, but is he going to die? He's probably going to die. Oh my god, look at the waves. SGG. It's still 8 seconds for Ainz to spawn. Get him, Ethan. Fight it, fight it, Ethan. It's all on you, man. Why would you hook the minions in your face? What are you doing? SGG, bro. Look how strong late game minions are, dude. Late game minions are so fucking strong right now. It's so annoying. They're literally unkillable. You see how many minions there are? And he couldn't do it. He was tickling them. Tickling. Wait, why did Ruby actually, like, hook them into the base? They could not end right away because the minions weren't under there yet. And he ults the minions under the base. Like, what is he doing? <laughs> What country is Logo? Logo's Mongolia. Wait, Ruby actually just sold the game by doing that. He's like, end it faster. End it faster. I guess when they practice, they didn't Bro, saw this kind of like, it, hard like late game minions are so fucking strong right now. I'm not sure if you guys watched like the 50 minute game we played with VTK, but that was only so long because of the minions, how they changed. We could not kill them fast enough. They are insanely strong. It is insane how strong late game minions are. Just pure nuts. Secure the objective when you have uh, the advantage. And you do not kill them unless you have true damage, because pure stats is not enough. You need true damage. The game when your team just have like stronger ultimates, stronger heroes, and this is like the advantage, not the gold advantage. I thought he was going outside base room I don't know why he ulted that. In game tempo heroes advantage. I didn't play a a game in out there. It's just awful. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't have fun playing that game. It might be just laggy. Because are you are so good at defense and Lil Gal not used uh, to this kind of good defense and uh, don't know how to crack it? Yeah, definitely need to find a way to break the code. Team Lil Gun just having a hard time. They did really thoughts well on games of future meta in the beginning, right? It was so honestly, like Lil guys. Gun have had two very good drafts and executed it very well. They're late, they're, but they're like mid late game decisions and macro just suck. It just sucks. RRQ just diff hard in terms of like macro and game knowledge in the mid late game. But Mongolia Little Gun's drafts definitely very solid. Like honestly, pure draft perspective, I thought Little Gun was winning first game. Second game, I thought it was like pretty even. Actually, I thought I thought RQ had a better draft second game because I didn't like the XC pick or Thomas pick. But they still had a massive early lead just solely because of Zixara. Less experience? Yeah. Could be less experience. Less stage experience. Got nervous. And then it's like first game one. Yeah. I guess you could just say experience diff. You know, RQ's whole team is just seasoned veterans. Maybe not Banana, but everyone else. Well, yeah. He's pretty young. He's actually not really much of a veteran. Uh, Brusco, I don't know much about him. Skylar, obviously a veteran. And then so is Clay. Like, they, Brusco played, like, so bad in the early game. Just super aggressive and just get free kills. And Dexar was really fucking over your at like actually just catching him off off guard. Like but see this rotation from Bebex and Ainz was so dumb. I, I like Bebex should just stayed top. Ainz did not need to rotate. He gave so much free plating and then Bebex just died. 
Good pick right here from Ethan. Ethan and Zexara are the two best ones on Little Gun, for sure. Forman did fine. He didn't play bad, but he didn't play like that insane either. And then Ein's and are actually just trolling. <laughs> and then doing nothing with the kill just like in this uh moment look uh mark is going in three people stun and they're gonna kill all of them but on the is octa clay i don't know who octa is chat i saw one toy it's clay it's from mdl okay well yeah i saw someone say it wasn't clay someone say it was i don't know in terms of macro gaming yeah this lore was such a horrible decision to just coin flip it i was such a bad bad decision to coin flip that especially after you're playing 4v5 ideally you just play like mongolia is Still had the gold eight here right and kadra did like flicker ults with skylar bennett rage to get a pick all they had to do was reset lord and then play around lord and they wouldn't commit for lord because they have no skills to commit for it and they wouldn't risk it and they could have just wait for their team to spawn and then try again but they decided to just coin flip 50 50 retry lose the retry lose that 5k gold lead and then lose the game after they already chose a losing draft so just like only only l's for mongolia this is the second match i'm late yeah i didn't stream the first match because i wasn't sure if i could and then i realized nobody else was sure either so i'm just saying all right screw it i'll stream it uh, that's kind of been the uh, uh the trend here by the way is there a schedule chat i don't know what the schedule is for this why well, I not have to go in the DNA's future? Probably because it just has not placed good at all, like, since M4. <laughs> What's the point? Could be political, too. I don't know. Yeah, we're just not invited keep going, keep going, this looked really going, good for keep doing right stuff this was really good until i think mx died the then it became really bad of the rq hoshi and don't know what to do yeah and speaking of actions actions speak louder than words should we be ongoing game right now all right hold on on the board octa with the paramus three two and eight stacking up those assists 22 percent damage look up game the future official i just want to show anything per minute but it was really the power of the nether realm that i don't need to show rq hoshi alive inside of a lot of these a lot of these oh this is group a a lot of the difference especially in that mid to late game when group b is twisted mind or sug all right let's check what group b is going on here so i don't know is sug cambodia or malaysia there's a lot of zoning that happened there right there's so many uh here i don't know either of these teams chat front lines here you got the final slash from marrow and at the same time you don't know when mike sum's gonna pop up that uh so dude there's gonna be two series at the same time burmese schools versus devu and homeboys versus bren those are both like i mean probably better to watch homeboys versus bren but man burmese versus devu would also be good to watch and right, just like that, so this is a one-to-one -one game. I hope here. I watched last game went to a best of the three, but it didn't. S2G or regions are these guys? Chat? I don't know. Yeah, and, uh, oh, Maro. Okay, so that's Occupy. That's Mina. In range of Maro in the final slash. And Mina and, and uh, you've got a lot to compete with when it comes to the. Uh, I mean, they're white, so I'm assuming it's not like Malaysia or Cambodia. <laughs> Turkey? Mina versus Turkey? It does look like Karo wants a little bit of a piece. Is that it? You can see the rest of S2G looking for a position here, trying to get in there. Uh, oh, nice little stun. Oh, oh wow, wait, wait insane Vex on ults. Final slash doesn't do much at all, or final. Please, rat. Sorry. Uh, one for one trade. Jungler for XP. Kazoo. 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 S2G is Turkey. Oh, yeah. S2G versus Mina, then. <laughs> Turkey versus Mina is kind of crazy. I think it kind of backfired on the side of S2G here. Like, what Carl wanted to happen was, like, land that very, very nice setup. But the Turkey versus Mina is kind of nuts, actually, when you, when you mention it. And then you got the eternal guard from the Vixana that really needs yeah, to it's actually a shame that by, if uh, any place higher, they might have been invited to this. <laughs> you think about it. I don't know if it's political or if it's because of placements, it could be either or. VC Mirko, I was actually thinking about it. He asked me to join the VC if I wanted to, but there's too many people over there. It's like uh, I wouldn't really be talking much anyway. There's like already five people in the VC last time I checked. We'll go to the side of Twisted Minds.
I think political. Yeah, and, and, yeah and honestly, I think it's probably political. Line, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's, it's almost at a point because to be able to they invited other teams so that all like other regions that are also like and, and Sano, which have not had good placements at all. When you think about it, because those are the two heroes that are gonna be well in the back. And I so I don't think it's just placements. I I think it's probably political. But like, then if it's political, you can know nothing about it. Although I think placements is a factor. I mean, they don't think it's worth it. But at the same time, it's like. Uh, you, you can say that, and then you see regions like, well, not regions, but like right now, Turkey. Turkey like, actually did have good placements in M3, M4. Yeah, but the same case as NA, I guess, where it's like, since M4, they haven't had any good placements. And like, Mina has never. I can't remember the last time they even placed, like, maybe they've placed top 8 before. But I don't know. And they invited other games? And invited other games? Oh. That, uh, I don't know, I don't know. even get set up here by Ruby. Another another big thing to, to kind of point out too is uh, no market that could be it too because apparently Mina and I don't know about Turkey but I know Mina actually has like views and they actually have like a like a pretty nice set of MPL so maybe it is actually just like NA is not as developed that could be it probably is it honestly if the NA is about other games it's probably it it's not about placement it's probably about how developed your LMB region is and they probably could just compare views so that's at least a good thousand but yeah are you here not invited and at this point the claude is pretty much active oh really already. not even not brazil really hard. Not that's amazing, very you know, you interesting i don't know that setup, that, um, yeah are not invited dude that's so that weird that that I, I, probably i guess i guess it is probably just the the most developed mpl regions because uh brazil or just the entire like south america mpl it was like developed after m3 no yeah, and, it, and, it's unfortunate and then all because, the other mpl uh, regions were before, before uh, like developed uh, mina has better views than na i don't know if it has better views but it might have like more money like more sponsors invested in it because at the end of the day it's about the money not like the viewers doesn't always reflect money it's more about sponsors and mina it's like like you know you know oil money who knows okay mina actually has to be invited because of the, like the whole saudi arabia investing in esports stuff so i'm not really whether the, or whether the regions uh, so developed or not that's definitely a big factor so like i'm not surprised they got invited at all what the fuck is that export bolts from that post of mines bro what wow slash goes off it's two s2g in a bad spot here flicker from ruby has to go off the run that's xp ruby by the way and then tig falls Quaro. Quaro versus Maro. What's with all the Mardis picks? They're not winning either. <laughs> kind of a perma ban Joy Nolan angle from both from these teams, though. For sure. It's getting permaed. Wow, huge flicker ult from Maro. Getting two from S2G. Actually, they might both live. No, Luna falls. The Lunar. It's a good pick. Get away, get rid of Ruby so she can't uh, ult anyone. Tick will be up soon. I don't know what his ult cooldown is. But two high grounds. It's pretty much doomed for this team, S2G. Mina's first win. Whoa, Kazu going. Okay. Bro, focus on the uh, minions, baby. Do the Lord hurts. Oh, Quaro with a three man ult, but gets can't see can't love Xana. Insane. Yeah, we have a 7K gold lead right now. Valentina takes the Vexano. Like, we got Lore versus Lore, but the Lore loses and GG. Put some lines with the two wanders, S2G. Come ahead for Saudi Arabia. Oh, wait. Uh, Private's casting this? Interesting. Three are going to make it forward. One will be knocked down. Okay, so now it's Devo versus Hull Boys. Or Devo versus Burmese is here. Honestly, people are probably going to watch this match more than this one. They're probably going to watch. Chat, how, how much longer until this one starts? How much time until this uh, Brent versus. Because it says, it says 8.50 p.m. GMT plus 8. I don't know what time that is in CST. So someone just tell me how, how far is that? Dilar for oh yeah, Dilar for Burmese. Okay. Thirteen minutes. Actually. It was delayed. Cause yeah, shouldn't it start like five minutes ago? Am I stupid? Forty minutes late. One more hour. Dude's first Burmese. 
Like, I don't know, bro. Like, what would be more interesting to watch? And, uh, Fred versus Homeboys? Fuck, that's actually really hard to say. Because the thing is, like, I know Burmese got D-Lar, right? Wait, Burmese is D-Lar, right? Burmese schools? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Burmese schools with D-Lar. Um, but the rest of the Burmese did not look that great in M5. So I feel like this might be a, a Devu stomp and it might not be as entertaining as Homeboys versus Bread. Because Homeboys versus Bread might be a repeat of this series, which was RQ versus Mongolia, where Homeboys is known for a very early aggressive playstyle and Bren's very slow, calculative, wait until mid late game kind of playstyle. So like, I think this series would be much more entertaining to watch because it'd be a lot more like skillful. While Devu vs Homeboys might just be a stomp in favor of Devu's favor, because I think they're probably just a better team than uh Burmese. So I don't think DLR can change like their whole team, you know? Like one good player cannot change like their whole team. Okay, Devu vs Homeboys. The devil versus the home, I say never someone from these schools plus understanding, like you know, everybody knows about the meta, but what is meta for my perspective? Meta is like stands for most effective tactic available, which means it's not uh, uh, only the heroes to pick. So Dude, I haven't. Warbar, I saw War, Warbar. is such a cool guy. I like we we would hang out with him a lot in an M3. I basically haven't seen him in years. He was bald back then. It'd be nice to like meet him again and just have a nice chat. But unfortunately, you know, not invited. <laughs> I all four teams the title. I did. Yeah, that's exactly what I, what I was going to do. Trying to uh, uh, do even more pressure on the jungle and eventually have like that the DC. So this is the meta for me. At, and this is like at the first place. This is like the fundament for the base of the meta. And on top of that, you place the heroes who are better. Well, Mark is doing a subathon. Kind of department. And Did they like just start? And uh, the teams are showing uh, that actually a lot of heroes can fit into this kind of concept and what do you need for this is like like balance the turn play line i don't know if it's online well they're, they're definitely all over there i think they're playing land but they don't have cameras like for the players important and the scaling to the late game and uh, you need to be the master Chat, this is for this is not msc this is a russian tournament that's third party kind of exactly what which country is hosting this russia russia is hosting this they understand this quite well is Warbar Warby Russian uh I think yeah I'm pretty sure Warby's Russian understand this because there was in the moments into the game when in my opinion they should go harder go harder go like they need to take the stories they, they cannot let uh RQ defend the story they need to do more and they kind of like Okay, this time we don't get. He's Ukrainian. Stores. Let's get it oh. next time. <laughs> they don't have I thought it was Ukrainian or Russian, but now I don't know the specifics. And, uh, don't, don't. Yeah. Please don't make it political. I don't know so, yeah, much about it at all. From my perspective, this is. Why is Navi's coach actually? Yeah, I know he's Navi's coach in M3. We talked with him a lot. It's a cool guy. Really cool guy. I mean, when it comes to meta, there's a couple things that, you know, teams have to kind of check off. First of all, uh, it's, it's definitely focusing on the draft, finding a way to get the most optimal composition for your team. It's not always about chasing. Uh, necessarily the I'm not listening. I'm not really listening to what they're saying, chat. I'm not gonna lie. Understanding what's most effective. Kind of looking at the chat. Way they kind of play and, and drafting towards like, play style, but also what language is this, bro? What language is this? Picks from the opposing team. There's so many different I, languages I going on here. <laughs> the battle. Definitely execution after that. Once you jump mm -hmm. into the land of dawn. That <laughs> that's actually funny. There's literally like three, three four different, different languages being said here. Come out. Um, we didn't really get to see them really. Uh, Use, oh shit, that's uh, loud as fuck. Kind of drafted for, right? The Barats having a strong front line. Hold on, chat. Let me turn this down. To keep them alive. We were seeing the Barats get bursted. I was gonna open really fast. This in the background. I don't know why it's so loud. Early game damage from the side of RQ. Oh, should even be able to. It's live. Yeah, it's live. I'm muting Shroom for a second because something really loud right now. All right, it should be good. Hey, I'm, I'm in the we're same good. Boat as you. 
Can you send link? Okay, if you want to watch the tournament, look up Games of Future official, the channel. Uh, I'd like to see mm. a hero and then you'll see all the streams ability on top of that may possibly slot it into the XP lane I think works out really well and then either your mage I play Russian damage dealer or aren't the casters there um and then balance it out with your marksman being the opposite Those I have no idea that I like to see chat I'm not in the tournament I can't tell you details to don't ask me please <laughs> and, and kind of shift I have no clue meta here in North America some things that we don't really traditionally see is a lot of assassin gameplay anymore We've been kind of shifting over to uh, more of the tankier lineup in the fighter style for the jungle. Uh, I think the most assassins that we currently seen, at least this NACT spring season, that's currently who's Burger right Kim. We saw Hayabusa come out of nowhere, which is not really that often. Only one Burger Kim. Out. Uh, the most common assassin that's crazy. Nowadays Burger is Kim Fanny. hasn't had the highest uh, win rate. I'm gonna pause this guy. I think it's causing my stream to lag. Honestly, the Fanny, I feel like back in the day. Uh, it used to be a little bit better with uh, not being able to CC when the cables were going in, but now you can kind of catch the fanny in its tracks. It's not really as explosive, at least in the NA side of things. Um, Brawl craps. Yo, join the record this maybe? With those nice kills. Uh, mm. But this time around, uh, you know, hopefully we're going to see uh, some different shifts in meta and see what the international scene is looking like as we're getting ready for Group A round one. Deuce Volts up against the schools. Deuce Volts ready to take it to the ground Burmy schools as well representing out of mind probably just watch this series and then go to bed this is our second series of the day for sure will be a best of three definitely let us know which way you guys see na ambassador as we we'll ask Burko for the dm link and get this draft going or the like said, link is definitely important is it's gonna boil down to execution as well and just a solid overall team composition yeah but the i Chats, thought i don't want to be too Burko. it's just that like you meta but There's already, opinion, I think, four or five people, people in the VC, so it's just a lot of other people that would be kind of like full potential of the hero is easy hard to, to inter like interact with you guys, to or it's like if I interact with you guys too much, I'd be kind of ignoring them, and then what's the point of joining them? I don't know. <laughs> Like hit the wall with the cables with Lancelot, like jumping around and catching with the Ling, like all of his uh, blades after the ultimate, which is basically just just hard to do. It just, it's just hard to do like, with your fingers. It's hard. They, who's Hiko? This is new. All of the, it perfectly. Hiko. Need to do that when new gold lane? No Carvey? Carvey, I know, is part of Rogue Esports. Like, and so is Kim Bamba. <laughs> but I think Kim Bamba played so well, they probably wanted sports. to keep him. So and they replaced Carvey. Uh, but now they have no Filipino. Have so now will people cheer for them? Who knows? I mean, everyone loves Kim Bamba. Don't get me wrong. You can see meta <laughs> He's definitely iconic. But now the Pinoys are gonna be like, they got rid of the Filipino. Of Fuck the them. You know? I don't know. Because of the player is better. We'll see. Yeah, Dilar! Sheesh! Just got a little bit of a sneak peek at Sheesh! this wolf. Saw Kim Bombo over there representing Sunset Lover as well. Sawo. And now looking at uh, Burmese schools. We got Blink, Nico, Stitch, Sasha, Stupa. and Dilar. I know there's definitely a lot of fan favorites out there, so definitely support your. We'll see the other streams going on. Getting ready to fight it out, but like I said, these are two powerhouse teams. They haven't shown anything. The just homeboys and Brad. I mean, they might have shown the rosters. No, they still haven't shown the rosters. It currently mm -hmm. inside of uh, M5, and then Burmese schools. Yeah. Right behind uh, they fell though to uh see you soon. A little Step zero, Weezy zero, Shameless zero, three, uh, NACT sweet. promo hey, super like chat. Oh, oh, oh. Um series. I whatever. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. This is like this is experience. They stuff a bubble of food right now. Both team are uh that was coach Filipino, isn't he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. I think you're correct. Like Filipino coach. We had a team uh the Umbrella Squad, which get renamed uh, on it. Uh, the Umbrella Squad. It, uh, Interesting this name. This team was on a wild card on M5, so you can check that. And uh, they always going off meta, and it works. Like, ex example, Lapu Lapu Jungle. Uh, example, like Gaussian mid lane mage with the Petrify. And it worked, it worked, every time it worked, like, so it, it, it shows that uh, there is no such thing as a meta, because you, you can... You uh, know, I mean, there is such thing as a meta, uh, but definitely there is a thing as a flexible meta. Uh, and I think I mean, this meta right now is definitely very, very flexible. Bring out the best version of I think it's probably one of the most flexible only, metas there's been in a long time. You have theoretically all of the heroes maximized potential like I imagine you playing absolutely perfect on every hero in the game 
and only in I'm always going on about though you can pick like the better heroes and uh, bring up like absolute meta but in this uh, moment of time it seems like the meta is heavily dependent on the player skills on the particular I think that's true the meta is definitely dependent on how good you are as a player and how well you can execute wacky comps or even the basic meta comps because like we just saw in these last two games well, you didn't, if you watched the first game, I don't know, Araki versus uh, Little Gun, that, like, the Little Gun played the picks, the good draft. They played with really good drafts, but they could not beat RRQ as players at all. RRQ just played with them really, really hard. Was having a hard time keeping up so the definitely like a difference so, uh, in skill uh, for that regard Benidia, they went in for that benedetta they went in for that high mobility in the xp lane um and then they had the claude who had mobility big diff in skill skill diff big skill diff from that battle mirror image so i wonder if we see some similarities some things that have been kind of the same as like i said the na region is uh the ruby pickup that's been more of that staple xp laner or also a possible roamer to be flexed into uh, we also got to see, like I said, the Claude, the carry. You mentioned it. We, we asked which two marksmen were going to be picked up, and it was a, 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 almost a no-brainer. And that just shows you the similarities all across the world on uh, yeah. what two marksmen are mostly picked up, I at least this just... time around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're strong pickups indeed, at least for the uh, marksmen. I would say for mages, from what cool. I've seen... Um, I don't know what series I even want to watch it, Espers. And uh, the Aurora and the Nana have been really mm -hmm. the most. Yeah, I don't know if I want to watch that versus for me. It's if I want to watch Brent versus. Uh, to kind of run in that mid lane, on occasion. Homeboys. In a though, we'll counter it with a, a Valentina or something of that nature, which I did not see last game. I kind mm -hmm. of expected a Valentina to be the response. Depends you fly. Yeah, I know. Really I'm just thinking about it. Let's see which one starts first. And I would like to add that. Maybe I'll go back and forth. I might actually just go back and forth between both. Let's go. Let's do like theater mode, maybe. I mean, I Can I close chat? Claude, but it's, it's not no, wait, no chat, way, theater mode. Uh, no, honestly, I'll just go back and forth. Claude, like, it's between which one? Hero, like, he's aggressive from without even items. I couldn't achieve that kind of thing. So it uh, shows up. It's not like the Claude. Is it's gonna be so confusing. It's the player, it's the player And all <laughs> of the in-game situation. It's like Pritong Manok. I am indeed Pritong Manok. Hello. The better result for his team. Oh, and, uh, we can move into the draft already and the diggy is like first ban here it's like uh, they, they was those will favorite picks i guess last uh, couple of tournaments so yeah they absolutely prepared for this kind of stuff and just decided to ban it yeah the diggy's gonna open up the possibility for a minotaur play uh for either side i mean in an a we usually see the minotaur slotted in or right after that a possible tig uh could be an answer we are seeing that Claude Van Dout. That is one of the uh, major marksmen that's been currently slotted. The mm. carry is still available. Is a strong option. Uh, the Guinevere actually made it through the first band. The Guinevere. The can be a viable jungler or flex to the XP lane or flex as a roamer if necessary. A very strong pickup. The Arlot is gone, though, which means it won't be the best synergy paired up with the Guinevere. With that additional oh, CC. Harvey wasn't able to go because he was... A solid option. Um, Mathilda was banned uh, out, Alright. So uh, hi, bro. As for Carvey, wasn't able to come to Russia because he was studying as for Hiko. He's a 15 year old Russian ADC. He's considered a big talent here. Oh, thank you, Toro, for the information. Fermi skills wasting no time picking up the Ruby. Yeah, Ruby, second time is going. Yeah, yeah, like, Carvey didn't do bad in M5, so I wouldn't be surprised if they replaced him. But if, like, he was too busy with studies, then, like, understandable. He might have had, like, final exams. But still, split screen? Why am I split screen? I just went back and forth. And carry. We were talking about carry. By the way, uh, the Wolves Wolf have new uh, gold laner now from the... I like more Barbie Morris. So maybe I'll watch this stream. Young prospect and it's going to be... Their the draft already started. The other one hasn't even started yet. So I think I'll watch this one. Game with, uh, carry. We'll see. Yeah, I like the carry. I mean, especially with that Claude being banned out, Deuce Volts had a game plan. They said, hey, we're not going to let... So for draft, first pick Ruby again from um, Burmese. Dude, these teams love first pick Ruby. There's been a lot of priority Rubies. The thing is, I don't think the Rubies have won. They've all lost. When you have the Brody, you have the Corrosive Strike. It's a little bit of that stun. Pair it up with the Flicker, and you have some great mobility. Natan. How early? Just as good, I feel like, at least recently. Uh, but it's the Natan. I feel like the Brody's a little bit better. I haven't seen the highest success rate with the Natan. In the and Marius again, dude. Marius uh, and Ruby has not won today much. <laughs> surprisingly. Uh, so hopefully today we get to see some uh, mastery from the side of Burmese schools pulling it out. But something that we got to see. Work so the bands, the game, but not you can see Diggy, Novaria, Joy, and Arlot, Matilda, Claude. Yeah, yeah. It seems like they, um, they, 
I guess. I don't mean, Claude, first three. I don't know. Or a lot Matilda makes sense. Claude, like, you only want to really ban it if they are like no, the Claude spammers. Maybe they know he's a Claude spammer, so they ban it or counters their comp somehow. Uh, early. Dude, I'm. T I, I fucking called it, chat. Like, I said when CZ came out, this is a meta hero that's going to be played. She has not been touched at all, and she has been, like, prioritized in every single series. And people call me crazy for thinking she was meta. It just took everyone else so long to really, like, learn how to use her and figure out that she was, like, really, really good. And now she's being spammed. Like, I knew she was good, man. I knew she was good. Although, it's like... I don't know about Vengeance CC. I can see how it can actually be good, Vengeance CC. I didn't see before how Vengeance CC could be good because I didn't really consider it. I just thought what countered CC was hard burst multi marksmen. But then if you go Vengeance, you counter them kind of, but you lose that mobility. So you're easier to kill without the mobility. But the Vengeance does help make up first those burst heroes that you can just go in on them. I'm going to check on the other, other stream draft if it started yet. He's not going to be Bro, the draft still hasn't started? That's crazy. Why is one getting delayed so much? Alright, whatever. We should watch this game one. Alright, I'll, I'll let it pull. Okay. Who wins? I think the Minotaur would be great here. Uh, looking at Deuce Bolt, they can Who wins? Uh, either side can use uh, it. Uh, uh, Burmies. Uh, okay, wait. Brummies. Uh, at bay, especially with the diggy being banned out nice and early, but they don't have priority on the second phase of this draft, which means useful may be able to steal it uh, if they're keeping their eyes on it. Now, CC was picked up from Kid Bamba, which is going to work in his favor. I can't wait to see how that kind of goes. Did excellent inside of uh, M5. Definitely a uh, crowd favorite over there from the side of Deuce Bolt's Burmese Ghouls. <laughs> they have there the artist, go. good anti CC, especially up against that Guinevere, who is going to be trying to dive in. Now, I wonder why they banned the Diggy, though. Are they trying to bait out the Minotaur? Are they trying to get it themselves? <laughs> I think we're already on three. Yeah. Final ban, no, we we would, like, go to the pool. We're already a lot in M3. It was really cool. Limit the, the jungling capability. It looks like they might expect this to be a Guinevere roam, which is the beauty about it, right? It can be a flex pick. It could be XP. I'm a big D-Raw or not D-Raw. D-Raw fan, so. I do think Devu wins this series, but I hope Baris can put up a good fight. Do we even consider Ruby the XP for this? Do goalie for Devu? Apparently, someone, a chatter said that Carby couldn't come because he has studies. So they got this 15-year-old Russian ADC who, like, made a name for himself. But this is this guy's, like, this ADC for Devu, it is his, like, stage debut, I think. Or at least, like, live stage debut, probably. So we'll see how he does. Like, I don't know, Ruby is way too defensive on the X-Plane. And uh, especially CC is going to pressure we'll see. Ruby. And Ruby is being forced, going to be forced to clear the wave second under turret in this allows uh, enemy explainer to rotate and pressure your team which you don't want to appear in the minotaur yeah yeah minotaur i just wanted to credit the diggy ban i don't think diggy ban is because burmese goals want to pick uh, big crowd control i think it's there I mean, part of the reason, sure, but uh, the most part of this reason is because the Deus Wolves are so good at playing Uranus. with this kind of vision given heroes, which is uh, Selena and Diggy. They like play uh, using this information super good. Uh, I think this is the main reason. And it also scales to the late game and start being the problem, Diggy. Yeah, definitely could yep. also be, you know, because Sawo, how, how well he kind of performs on the mm -hmm. Diggy as well. Uh, a little bit of that comfort pick, taking it out of his hands, a secret weapon on the way. And we're going to see Burmese skills. They're not really going to waste any time in the draft, just quickly uh, selecting our final picks. They are going to pick up Asha Boxia. and uh, Lilia. So this may be a Boxia in the, in the jungle. So the Lilia pick kind of counters Boxia, so they grab it. It's also not bad because you can go purify Lilia, so you can, like, dot. You can purify the Gwyn jump. It's not that great into CC and carry. From popping up that I mean, it's okay to CC carry. I think it's kind of. Uh, I'm not sure if it's good or bad in two. I don't think it's that great. Down, and then the final pick but we'll see. For the side of Deuce Folks, it's the Nana. How do you feel about that? Oh, you 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 called it. 
Nana, Nana final pick for Devu. Dude, I'm surprised Nana has not been getting picked as much as I thought it would be. Like, genuinely honest. I thought he picked a lot more. But it's not at all, actually. Big shock, really. Uh, no no randomness because like you know when the second skill was who's xp Ryan, uh, i don't know target, he, he was like oh wait it came bomba and then dlar whoa and what's he, going on he, at the last possible second kick bro the stream is like yeah speaking of guaranteed we are jumping into the land of dawn inside of the virtual arena we go for games of future 2024 games of future 2024 in group stage a you're going to be seeing all the way outside from Russia. Bro, why is it so laggy? Is... Hold on. Let me close this. Let me pause the stream. I'm going to just close it. Five, going up against Burmese Fuels all the way from Myanmar. Which why are these streams so laggy, bro? Oh my God, Myanmar. it's so bad. Yeah, jungle. Or will we see Magister pull out some magic tricks? From... Bro, why are these streams so laggy? Is the official this laggy for you too, chat? I want to refresh. Because I saw all the people saying it was laggy as well. Like, saying the stream was really laggy while watching uh, Miracle Watch. Oh my god, it's bad. Hello? What is this? Uh, sorry, Baxia is actually is there, ready to fight, but nobody contesting uh, the... Uh, Close second tab, official isn't laggy. It's good. Uh, we going for the okay, let's leave it like this. This should be fine. And Maybe like not full screen. We're gonna try to probably use the... Okay, what is going on right now, chat? The ultimate, but it's not YouTube lag? Only for you? You're watching two lives right now? I canceled the other one. Easily dodge all of these. That's why I'm wondering what's going on. Yeah, and speaking of Marty, you can tell he's definitely going a little bit more defensive, right? He picked up the concussive blast um, over there. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be kind of keeping my eyes on him. On the bot side, though, you are going to be seeing uh, Stitch running on this Natan, going up against Hiko on the carry kind of laggy really chats all right whatever back we're back we're back opponents, and it's going to be a battle of who can get to the late game items first now this I'm first turtle heavy prioritization into the gold lanes if thank you for the membership well crafted appreciate it carry, uh by getting a kill on them especially this early in the game it's going to be huge to be able to take control of this match as we are going to go ahead and see both teams ready to rotate around turtle has spawned in and soxa and magister in position for the aggro He's in position for the aggro. Reopen browser, restart browser. Hold on, I'm trying to close other stuff before I do anything rash. Dude, it's so laggy. Uh, okay, Blink and Soxa fall. Sasa. Bomba gets picked off by Dilar though. It's XP Maris, I just noticed. Oh, is this curse viewing? I'll refresh one more time. Right on his back with the it should not be this laggy. I know. And get the turtle, and now maybe able to get a kill as Sunset Lever trying to get out. Big flicker play. Oh, huge! Able to escape with one HP, and now the flank from the side push in the mid lane. Kid Bomba trying to find on Magister. Very low, using the spatial migration. Fucking out, chat. What's going on? on? Back to his orange buff. Yeah, three hundred. Okay, it should be better now. And red buff being farmed, and again, like gold. It's just you. Are... Oh yeah, refresh one more time, and it should be good. Like, I, I cleared, I cleared, I closed a bunch of shit. I closed a bunch of shit. Let's make sure the quality is like up to par here. 1080p. Boom. Nice. Good. Pretty even. For me, it's actually a slight gold lead. I don't know about XP Maris. XP Maris into CC is very interesting. But DLR is 2-0. And he's going Fury Hammer. A little bit of damage. Yeah, the clash is probably clear. It makes the official change buggy. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, I mean, it's just a problem of my own. I don't know. Kid Bomba, a crowd favorite, definitely leading the way so far. Highest kills on the left side. Two zero on Bomba. Leading the way with Dlar. The big Bomba. Competing through two zero and zero. Interesting enough, it's both XP laners leading the way. Yeah, I'll call him Flip Baron. Kills right now. For both sides, but you're oh, Blink with the hook. Onto the bot lane. You can Poking out Sawo. Go and catch Sawo, but not able to deal massive damage. 
Yeah, immediately heals uh, back to f almost full with the uh, basic region. And uh, seems like nobody is going to gank the bot lane because of the stacked up roll. So, just carry? I want to see emblems, man. I'm sad that I can't see emblems. I want to know if he's going like tanky carry or if he's going just damage carry. Damn, like arc swing assassin or if he's going like fighter common. Uh, 300 gold actually still Mars is like semi tank semi damage the couple of minutes in uh, it means actually that all of the teams oh that's a, a good thing is uh, carry is doing make Bama doing some good zoning here one ballista, which is like 100 gold Getting quite low again. Jumped here. Bala is gonna fall. The dealer. The vengeance did not do him much there. Kind of a misplay from Bamba to be that aggressive. Dealer with a little bit of an XP, but Bot Tower goes down completely. The Ma Mahiko no flicker gets engaged on by Stitch and Blink. They take carry down. And Sasa still has retry, but Magister does get the retry off. Wait, actually, Burmese are putting up a good fight. No retribution being used on Baxia still, but. Uh, yeah, that's a good sweep by Burmese Gold. Yeah, Definitely a misplay from Bamba, kind of a toss. Well. You yeah, hate to see now, it, but Bamba getting poked out again by Dealart still. No vengeance. Nico going in quite deep. Bamba gets ulted on. Oh, but the outplay from Bamba! Nico and Dealart, way too much. Bamba. Oh my god, don't try to miss Sasa! Baba's crazy! Dude, you saw that shit? Holy shit! Baba's crazy, bro. That turn around. Oh, Magister, though. Oh, he lives. With the CC. Dude, that fucking. He just cutted the shit out of that. Out of Sasa. Holy hell. Sasa could not hit him. That was not much of a goal lead after that one. For me, it's had like a, a thousand goal lead. Now it's gone. Saw this kind of behavior when uh, you, you that's the bomb like brummy schools or like deuce bomb oh Nico like wow well. what wow. what chat hello what was that black shoots what immediately followed up with oh solo getting jumped here by blink and stitch solo does have the ult though is going for a turn around has no flicker to go socks like it's jumped on magic gets his jump canceled Sasa still lives gets out he go did pop the ult for that is going to reset as well not reset but just back off dealer backing off but try to go for more and eventually clear the mid lane yeah, Stitch able to pick up his first kill though, which means it's gonna put him a little bit ahead of Hiko. I like Devu's comp more than Burmese for sure. Like definitely, I like Devu's comp more. It's like Mars XP falls off really hard unless you build like hard damage to where you can one-shot squishies, but it's still not the greatest. Then CC will just shred him with Warax damage, and then the Ton. Versus their comp very hard to pull off. Not, like you can purify, but Nana will one shot you. Middle will just flicker ult you if you have no purify. Then you get jumped on by like CC, and then Magister will also force you purify. It's very hard to play Natan here. Nico's kind of like the winning decider. He needs to get a fuck ton of poke and destroy the front line before he has to purify, so his team can like try and pick up scraps. Same with Blink too. Blink needs to get a nice set. That match with the jump gets canceled. Eco falls. Wait, Stitch is doing insane amount of damage right now. Sasa level one HP. Flickers out. Sawa no flicker, but ults. Bomber on the back line, trying to do some damage here. Has no vengeance though. Lord just spawned. Double purify force from Vermis. Nico and Stitch. I got one kill. Doesn't really mean that much though. One kick only though for Breeze after that. Pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. Brand vs. HP far sorry already? Dude, I don't know if I wanna watch Brand vs. Homeboys or this. I wanna watch this cause Dilar and Bomba. Rotations across the map. He cleared his lane and then went to go join the Dilar and Bomba. Uh, Big Bomba. Uh, them to get turret advantage for the side of Burmese schools. Now, why you have James Gold? So, I saw a chat, a commenter said that uh, Carby is busy with studies, so he could not compete. And they had to get this guy's like a 15 year old goal lane. He has like a good reputation over there. It's apparently what's going on. A little bit of a rough start. Yeah, rough start a little bit, but uh, the carries also can't find the kind of um, space for a good fight. Always being in the range of that uh, ultimate of Ruby and being not being able to like kind of dodge the with the second skill or the flicker, kind of should go with a 
purify, I guess, but uh, it's uh, too late. Need to work with the flicker now. Yeah, and you're looking at uh, two purifies from Stitch and Nico, which would work great when Sawa tries to pop up that Minoan Fury, but went them on cooldown. Could yeah, so I think it's, it's, it's debut. It's a debut for like has been pulled, the other guy, guy Kiko. Rotating around, having some good zonage, trying to keep the side of Burmese schools at bay. But it looks like they may be able to take this uh, Lord. You're looking at a conceal play called out, though. Soxa winding up side of the will. Oh, flick roll from Blink. Getting the Magister and Sawa, but Sawa with the counter flick roll as well. Blink, one HP. He's going to get out. Bobble going in. Stitch, ulti Stitch as well. Stitch cannot get out, though. Trying to do some damage. Stitch, quite in bad spot here. Gets transformed. Hiko goes in. Get Stitch. Three for nothing. Three. Get zero deaths as he's gonna wow. be able to take all three of them down for the triple kill and we were wondering how hiko would kind of play into this off to a little bit of a rough start but now able to find his proper footing great way to be able to take this lord but little to no contest and now deuce Fultz may be able to have the lead for this match like magister didn't even ult on on the guinevere he just like uh, Minotaur kind of went in. Uh, he kind of Alex over chat this game. Because he gonna, uh, dodge all of these. I think it's over. I kind of want to peep on Homeboys versus Bren. On the different direction just Fuck, to here. Up I'll pull up an alternate tab first. And then I'll, the I'll check it out what's going on there. Kills went to carry and the CC, basically, and the Nana. I think I'll watch Homeways versus Bren chat. Yeah, now, with this now lord, I think this game is over. Claim some more of these turrets. They are now leading up by one. Able to take the tier one turret in the mid lane, which means now they have the opportunity to invade the orange and purple bus, but little to no contest from Burmy schools. Force them a little bit further back in their jungle. And you are going to see uh, Kit Bamba. Great rotation around. We'll be able to proxy off this lane, take the tier two turret on the top side, and now a siege for the tier. We watch homeboys versus Bren. We swap streams. We swap streams. The Zaman force coming out. Homeboys is winning versus Bren. What's going on? Homeboys is stomping Bren. All right, watch this. This is ten times more interesting. Homeboys is stomping Bren right now with a six K gold lead. They got the Nolan. They let through the Nolan. And so far, he hasn't been picked off. TZ on the on the Bovius. It's actually one two negative. It's a pot. Zorn nets Chibi. Oh, yeah, I thought Zorn retired. He's still playing. Oh, they got Udil yeah, now in Domage. Wait, it's huge. Waste the pot. Getting engaged on here. But Dash is out. Has vengeance. Still lives. Chibi not in a great spot. Phobius is jumping. Phobius is jumping. Oh! But Homeboys lose three. But one for Bren. Holy shit. Wait, they just came back. Oh, what the fuck just happened? Ogen? What do you say calling him Ogen for? I thought you watched him. I'll be being private. Ogen? Who is Ogen? Is that Ogwin's like autistic cousin? Ogen? Ogwin was down. And the demonic force was uh, forced to be reckoned with here. And at the same time, Super Marco came in at the right time with the blazing duet that is already kind of... Free Lord, maybe? Oh, Prince of Wrath goes off. And Kyle TZ gets Lord before he dies. And Sapat and Nets are there. Oh, it's GG. Wow, I came here and I just cursed. I just cursed them so hard. Oh, but Chibi cannot kill... Oh, dude, I literally just came with two homeboys being... Uh, finds like what like eight to two uh, and now like ten to eight yeah 204 for the claude of marco this time we kind of see the claude being activated right now ap brand was able to take in that lord this should be this should actually make them take go back to devo do i watch this do i go back <laughs> has been pressuring from the early game i just cursed them man the goal lead actually this is Bren? Yeah, I know. I like I did not believe Bren would lose either. I was insane coming back to that. Now now they lost. I came back here, they lost. I go back and now they're going to lose. Alright, let's mute this and go back. We're going back. We're going back. We're going back and forth. What's going on here? Uh it's for me schools with a gold deficit to Devu. Uh, uh, just look at Kid Bomba with the mobility over there with the C. It's kind of hard for me to do a lot here. No one can really walk up that well without getting like jumped on. Carry damage is huge. Can shred even Basha. It's a very good pick. I don't remember if they picked carry into Basha or Basha into carry. I think they picked Basha into carry, which is kind of a mistake. They last picked Nana, I believe, if I remember correctly. So it definitely was Basha into carry.
Burmese ghouls from entering the lore pit seems to be his primary objective. But it's a battle. Burmese have to look for like splits. Because mm -hmm. Devu doesn't have like a guaranteed split pusher. Nico with a good purifying ult. But they didn't really commit much. Only Kibama ulted, but his ult's not long cooldown. I mean, Nada did ult as well. That's actually kind of a long cooldown, so it's not some, that's not a bad trade. But for Purify, it'll come back sooner than Purify will. Kibamba zoning the shit out of DLR. DLR has to reset. Not great. His also is also 1 HP. This is just bad for Burmese. They have to just give us... Baba getting shredded. Sawo looking for a jump on the stitch. Can't make something happen though. And that Lord is gone. Sawo looking for a counter engage flicker to jump in. But Sawo has the flicker. Might die to stitch. But stitch cannot get the kill. Magister jumps on Sawo. Sasa. He's not going to kill though as he's alone. DLR. No, we're doing DLR. Over committing for Sawo. But Sawo just going to heal. He's not going to do anything. Alright, back to the other game. And the Minotaur could. It has the items you can definitely go head to head okay Bren boys. looking to invade a buff here purple buffer is gonna be pressured on by AP Bren <laughs> not gonna be easy here for Shibi <laughs> a poor purple buff has no idea except Pot to get you and Kyle Kyle treacheries gets out it's fine uh, very wisely homeboys don't press it any further <laughs> this is so goofy going back and forth it's still pretty close this game a lot more kills here like although Bren did come back from the lead it's basically uh, even gold now which means it could go either way from the start, but AP Bren has been taking control you mean buff I don't think Kyle retreated the buff pretty sure Chibi got it with his retreat so he just retreated someone Kyle quite low Zorn with a dash and ult Kyle quite low still is gonna get out though Udo cannot do enough damage to kill Udo is jumping but honestly I don't know why he's taking the phobia so he's not really as tanky as him Marco going in is gonna take out Zorn Udo Zorn down Chibi is gonna get few can he live though oh, he's crazy he's crazy with it but I think he has to reset because he's too low to do anything honestly I think he should just reset so he can go back and do a lord because now he can't get the sword there's really no way he's actually just like dead he goes in I mean, he's gonna clear that camp. I guess we'll get HP back. Okay, he's like three quarters. Don't go for the retry. Okay, yeah. The M5 world champions. Okay, let's check on the other stream as Lord pushes. Oh my god, this game is over. Oh my god, this game is over. Five men got wiped. Burmese is dead. Magister is doing a little dos dos. Hiko's doing some dos dos. Magister, Devu with their debut mar debut marksman, just clapped the shit out of Burmese. GG. Now Lord push for homeboys. I mean, in favor of uh, Bren though. Homeboys defending. Let's see if his charge can do much. Zorn looking for a flanker conceal, but Kyla right immediately there to stop him. But Flap is going to get engaged on by Sapat and Udo. I don't know why Udo still is picking the Phobia's ult. To be fair, yeah, I think he should go for Final Slash. Or even the Navari ult. Chibi in a really bad spot here. Very deep. Chibi's just dead. I don't know what Chibi's doing. Okay, very questionable positioning from Chibi. Bren could maybe end here with two dead. They don't have great wave clear with Harry Valentino. Very not great wave clear at all. And Flap still has ult for dive. Yeah, They definitely get two high grounds at least. And then definitely endable still. Oh. Sapat's not a great spot here. Has Vengeance and ult, but cast way too late. Is going to get shredded here. Flap with the big jump going in. Nets doing his best to defend here, but quite low. Has to reset. Marco with the blazing duet. Isn't going to get much, though. Zor with the engage. Marco for Spearfire. Oh, uh, Ogwin really deep here. It is going to be 1 HP. Has the flicker. Flicker's out to live. Zor looking for a fight still, even though it's a 3v5. I don't know about that one, man. To just kind of create that distance now and it's uh, Ogwen over. <laughs> it's Ogen over, according to uh, Private. It's Ogen over. It's Ogen over, guys. Ogen over. Ability of him to 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 be able to spam those dashes, uh, which is actually more than Flap Teasy can kind of uh, contend with. But the job was done. They zoned him away from the purple buff, and uh, that's going to be another stolen buff for AP Bren.
man. This is uh, objectives, even resources taken away from uh, Chibi. Hey, this is pretty over for homeboys. I don't think they have like the team fighting abilities to beat like Phobius jumping in. They can't really kill Phobius. He's purified. He just purifies the take real ults and then just goes around, does goes crazy, goes stupid. They did kill, do really good with the Natan, but it's not Natan Nolan. But they could not like snowball hard enough. Phobius Slappy Bird? Yeah. Yeah, and then that says a lot too, especially there's there's something about having a gold lead on your opponents, but when most of that gold lead is on one person, it really kind of tells a story of like how dominating uh, an, an effect that they are having. Kyle TZ finds this Lord pretty easily. Sapat so going oh, in with the vengeance. I mean, uh, 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 Marco and the last okay. going to Okay, going a little deep there, Sapat. So I don't think he'll be up to the end. Might be over here. Chibi getting half his HP gone by a few. Oh my god, that hurts. Dude, Brent's still just look unstoppable, man. Wheel getting yoinked by Ogwin. Purifies. Is he going to live, though? I still don't know why he's getting. Oh! He's dead. Goodbye. Nets trying his best here to defend. Oh, Zora gets the three man ult, but it's not going to matter. Chibi 1 HP and it's GG. 1 0 for Bren. Coming back from. How much of a deficit was it, chat? Let's go back and check. Let's watch the early game. Uh, he's trying to see their game of this game. I don't, I don't care about this. So, few and Ogre so were getting zoned really, really, really hard by Udil and Zorn. Like Zorn looking for some invade, backed off. In there, just some signature toss toss. To okay, Kyle and Ogwin went in. I don't know about that play though. It's pretty bad. Ogwin forced a flicker. Fine. She'd be looking to steal some camps, getting a free leash from Few. Not a bad play. Retri's ass steals it. Oh, Kyle Retri's a small one. I don't know that play though. Sapat's so caught really deep here. Few misses the, da the ball. The probably would have killed if it had connected with Flap first skill. Yeah, use that vengeance. So now he's not going to have it for. For, uh, uh, a little bit and look at AP Bren they are not stopping oh Ooh, Sapat actually might be oh a Chibi goes in here no one can kill Chibi oh he's not ults oh I'm surprised he didn't go for it Ogwin with a really poor re-engage but it doesn't matter okay Uda, this is where Uda takes Demonic Force for the first time Chibi's here to try and steal. Sapat with a very early ult, but he's trying to do some damage. Vengeance, way too late. He should have vengeance like right away. Oh, but Chibi wins the 50 50. But somehow. Fla okay, Flap gets a kill. Wait, wait. Flap got the turtle and a kill. Chibi just killed Ogwin. Okay. How did they get so much gold? Okay, right here. Udo got ulted by Ogwin. Takes it on like force. Starts jumping. Keeps jumping. Doesn't matter about the jumping. Keeps jumping. I don't know if it's enough, though. He's still jumping. Wait, Udo's still jumping. Udo gets out. Udo's fucking nuts. Udo's nuts. Holy shit. And Flap actually died to the tower. Wait, Udo actually just fucking... What was that play? Uh, he took too much damage there. Uh, Flapper was actually gonna try to go in for that last hit. Holy but shit, that was insane, actually. No wonder he kept taking the Demonic Force. I was obsessed. Uh, I don't know what happened down here. Sapat just got solo kill trying to hit tower. Bro got solo killed by the Rome. Sheesh. Chibi gets the red. Kyle could not steal. Kyle has no Prince's Wrath and dies for this, I assume. No way, he lives. Never mind. Uh, doing a double...
mid lane. So this should turtle Ogum advantage. Zorn already like half HP. Does have no flicker. Has ult though. Ogum with the ult on the support, just engaging on Ogum. Ogum force the flicker. Udo with the demonic force is jumping around now. Flapping, flapping Udo are just jumping, bro. They jumping, they jumping. And he dead. Kyle Tz falls. Okay, I can see. It literally, Udo was boosting the early game. Udo was actually just boosting it. What the hell? And he was boosting our by just spamming. He was just doing this on his phone, like the alt buttons right here. He's just doing this over and over and winning. He's winning the game by doing that. Why did my alarm just go off? He's making sure that AP Brand is zoned out before they take in the objective flash, which we know, which we'll be seeing later on. Yeah, I don't really do do much. It's mostly Udo, and then she'd be picking up scraps or whoever's left. Very passive gameplay now. She'd be one HP. Gets out. Udo jumping on Kyle. The Zorn goes off with the ult as well. So Kyle gets picked off. Oh, oh wow, wait. He could have killed few, but he pressed the ult and it went on someone else. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he literally would have killed Navaria right here if he like did not ult Oglin. But Udo got impatient and click dash. Very unfortunate. So it was like at this point, eight to two is when I joined the stream and then they just lose. <laughs> His movements all Why is it so there. laggy? All right, whatever. We already caught up to like where I was watching. Uh, let's go to the other one. Yeah, this is the thing. Uh, Sword has been. I don't know why it's so laggy all of a sudden. Chat. Let's just go to this one. It hasn't, it's not okay. It's not ready yet, actually. And using that implosion onto. Why is it so it's laggy? Easy, right? Like when you get from nets or even. Yeah, and this is where they had this fight here. Let's like actually analyze this fight. So Alright, let me refresh. This is fucking disgusting. Okay, we already saw this part. I want to see how they lost so hard right here. Yeah, we already saw this fight. This is where things went south. This top fight. Okay, so how did this go wrong? They had a 5k gold lead. How did they throw this? Right here, Sapat? Way too deep. They see his whole team bot side with just Chibi top, and the whole enemy team is missing, and they're all rotating up here. Every he gets out, yeah, but still gets engaged on. Final slash, put in a bad spot. Okay, I've seen this problem twice today already. They need Dawood players need to vengeance first, then yeah, ult, they, they because your ult takes a second to cast. You need the vengeance first. You don't get bursted right away. If he vengeance first. Then ulted, he would have probably been able to tank more damage. He actually lived though, still. He lived still, so that's probably not the problem. But still, like, a thing I find annoying. Chibi went in way, way, way too early. You see the Phobius jump? As Nolan, he should immediately just back the fuck off and wait for the Phobius thing to run out. Because he cannot do anything. He, he got jumped on three times by Phobius, and that did like about 75% of his HP. Yeah, and they and they need to because they know what their win can So already bad from Chibi to keep fighting here. He should have just left the pots. Marco went back when Chibi ulted him, so immediately Marco or Chibi's ult had no value. Zorn, you know, after two of his teammates back off, go for an engage. But they don't have the damage. Chibi re-engages, gets Ogwin, but then he just groups for flap to get a huge jumps marco blazing duet and they just wombo combo kill everyone so homeboy's got way too complacent and like committed too hard they got too comfortable with their situation and didn't like respect Brent enough and then still and then die so Brent still had like a big deficit by 4k 4 3 actually it was 3k here and then they get Lord, and that goalie is gone. And then it's even. So, yeah. That's how that happened. Um, that makes sense. Draft for game two started here by uh, Burmese versus Devu. Let's see. Now you cursed them, no reason? Yeah, that's my fault. My bad, guys. I cursed them. If you guys have already, appreciate sure, though. Like the stream, sub as well. All good stuff. I cursed them. My bad. My bad, guys. I cursed them. Apologies. Uh, priority in this one, which means you may see a little bit of a different hero selected on the board. But the Diggy, again, will be banned Still out. There. Looks like it's a response to uh, Sawo. Looks like they <laughs> don't want to see that in action uh, again. So 
we're gonna go ahead and see that diggy band out but again it opens up the opportunity for a possible minotaur pickup or maybe burmese schools will be able to pick that up as deuce Fultz solid, uh, solidifies that guinevere yeah guinevere first pick even though last game it was only like seven percent damage it's one percent above minotaur so burmese uh, did ban diggy and the wow they kind of just target ban mid lane it's still like that was just very general bad safe bands and then burmese kind of target man uh oh, when you play in like oh not magister fucking what was his name oh i literally can read the name sunset lover yeah i was trying to think of it off the top of my head without reading the names sunset lover and uh sao sao diggy and sunset lovers uh the barrier which also was a really good barrier in m5 in this draft but i do like what Burmese oh the priority on cc is crazy man we saw kid bomb on it last time but this side is going to be on the opposite side of the table a priority uh, with cc is, is nuts to his advantage and we didn't see the best uh game especially over there with the martis but again we saw we predicted it wouldn't kind of be slotted in this time around the carry definitely a wise option stitch will be able to pick that up may be able to deal some massive damage i mean we saw him on the carry before dealing some heavy hits and i think you'll be able to do it again now, I'm not gonna lie, chat. I'd rather watch this series. I like the way it's going. You kind of talked about meta. I'll wait until it starts, but I'd rather watch this series. I believe that's what we're seeing here, but hey, first time seeing it today. I'll watch this one until this one starts. Insanely strong hero. I nobody picks it. Just like Thanos. Just like a lot of heroes in the game. Well, the problem with Yuzong. Oh, well, there you picked Kimbombo Yuzong. I like Yuzong. He, find, he, he provides the mobility, the life steal. I mean, he can drop down. The only problem with Yuzong, chat, on the, on the plane is that his ult cooldown is way too long. It's like a minute and 10 seconds, level one. Strike, get the stun, kick mm -hmm. back. It just makes it really hard to do constant fights in the early game when you have no ult. He's definitely going to be focusing on stuff. Do I get counter CC? No, not really. He actually really, he's actually quite I, I strong in his CC. Uh, late game, the CC definitely wins. So the but early game, Yuzong is one of the few, like, yeah, one of the heroes that can contest with her early game. Zhong being picked right after CC, are they going to like kind of counter them? Did that was going to see with BG? Either yeah, probably. Which is why I don't really care to watch the series. I rather watch Homeboys because they're more interesting Ooh, than uh, Burmese schools. No like offense, Dilar. Your team kind of blows. I mean, you kind of you kind of did okay, but then you started to blow last game too. But I'll hold it against you. You know, on the CC. It's a very mobile expert. Aurora band, good. Because uh, Yuzong can't go purify and he's not that tanky. So he can get melted by Aurora. And Claude doesn't really need to go purify yet here. But if they picked Aurora, he would have to go purify. But so far versus those heroes, he doesn't have to. It'll be a little bit faster than the CC. But when the Black Dragon's not in effect, that's when you'll see d kind of shine. Um, but when it comes to focusing onto the back lane... On Devil Draft with Jadal P. Their draft's pretty good. Such as the uh, Marksman with carry or the mage that's going to be slotted for big the carry priority is interesting i guess it's good versus like claw because you can go tank carry and he can't like burst you i check hello and uh we know he can kind of rack up those kills in the early phase hopefully though like we said this oh wait i tried that's for me uh i mean i don't know i would say it's like great great demo draft it's not game winning it's good so far possibly i don't think it's just over just because of the draft so far though it's not really like a hard counter so far it's just like skilled if heroes Hold of HP or Ben's time? Yeah, I will. I kind of wanted to see, but CC's meta? Chat, I've been saying CC meta. I don't know nobody's been listening. All right, honestly, chat, let's just go watch this series. This is just so much more interesting. Like this guy, last game, I wish I watched it, honestly. It was a lot more intense. Even up until now, like with the adjustments on the Faramis, it is almost all the time good when you have that. Who is this person? Is this a Singaporean caster? Pretty much like the SS, the home I think it is. Final band here. I don't think this is US. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. For, like, uh, I've never seen this girl before. And I'm only thinking like with good English, they'd be either Singaporean or Indonesian. Uh, Filipino? I know I see her somewhere. The Filipino English? So this leaves AP Bren with the Matilda, which is actually opened up here. I have no idea. Uh, for the She's Pinoy by Caster. Uh, very safe pick, I would say, or I should know. prioritize other things, uh, maybe the Claude or um, uh, whatnot. But yeah, it's gonna be the Matilda being picked up here. So Burger Kim from PH. PH Caster. Is, I, I'm assuming he's right First pick, Ogwin's signature Matilda. Ogwin, according to Private. Because they already have a Matilda here. I mean, if we're talking, stats, I like I like private's background though. Numbers, I mean, Claude would probably. It's so funny because this background is better quality than a stream camera, <laughs> so it's like it, it looks out of place because it looks too good in the background. 
the the Matildas out there. Oh, uh, oh homeboys banned Banny, CC, and Nolan. Interesting. Barat's pick uh, in the meta. Very from the set pot and, now, and Nets. Some of the item Dude, I thought Zorn was going to retire uh, out there. after M5. Didn't he like say that? Chat? They're, they're all saying how uh, Zorn's going to quit after that M5. This was kind of taken uh, away just in case AP Bren wanted to use uh, uh, that combination of the Matilda and Barat's because she really covers Probably in the clubhouse. <laughs> slowness that he has to be able to kind of help him with that guiding wind to get him around the map there. So it could be very interesting picks. This is the first time that we've seen uh, some of these characters picked up. Uh, as most of I like how some of the pictures, some time. people are smiling and some people aren't. Yeah, the Barats. First time we've like Kyle, he's just kind of like smirking there. The, 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 you know, Marco's got like a really lazy the, smile, the, but he's like, yeah, I'll smile. Uh, Flap seems like he's happy. Udo doesn't care. He's like, man, I really have to be here instead of Indonesia. I mean, it's like, whatever. And then Chibi's like, just happy to be there. Zorn's chilling, he vibing. I didn't see the other names. I didn't see the other faces, but you know. Answer to tanky heroes like the Fredrin and the Barretts, and they add up the X Borg here. I'm still not sure if this is gonna be a flap teasy hero, or maybe you know a little bit. X Borg, probably a flap teasy hero. X Borg is pretty good with Barretts. One of the um a really solid picks in the X lane that really stands alone, and at the same time, Homeboys has this final pick. Will they go for their? Udo looks young, bro. How old is he? They might actually go for perhaps the. Uh, Udo Mogs, bro. <laughs> but they seem to prioritize this Valentina. So to pick up the ultimates here. Burger like King censored. <laughs> what the hell? Here of, uh, the certainly either eagle rather of the uh, Matilda. Yeah, I want to say like uh, while the circling eagle is uh, can have its place. Why draft so long? A lot of these well, uh, just nothing has changed threats. in terms of draft like timers. This is how it normally it is. Shining point comes with that uh, guiding winds and having the flask of. Is he a good roll? Possibly no. You that Not a good roll at all. Every single time, like uh, one of your players is in range, and it really. Uh, Valentina again for Udo on the side of homeboys. I, mean, I know it's a big comfort hero, but why pick it here? I don't get it. Because, like, Last of Sandy is the only good here ult to take here. And that, it's very aggressive ult where you won't really... You'll kind of die in the mid-late game using it. Not the early game. Matilda ult isn't that great for Valentina. Doesn't do too much damage. It's good for, like, scouting out, but you take a lot of damage because you don't have shields. Like Matilda does. I mean, it makes Bren more cautious about what heroes they pick. But I don't think, like, a hero they pick would be that. Unless they pick, like, Mardis. And give Valentina a free Mars assault, that would be insane for her. But I can't think of anything like that crazy otherwise. Alright, let's do a poll. I've seen this in a couple of uh, you know content creators videos is that they get the the circling e or yeah the circling eagle and then you combine it with the Odette's uh, uh, the Odette swan song so that is a lot oh. of damage and at the same time the mobility <laughs> it provides for AP and AP Bren is known for using this Odette for the very first time and M5 private Rizzler wants so some burger what the that fuck that came out from hello bong chicken hello you either with if they want the vision on the bushes right because the Guinevere can actually set up the play from the bushes that was Udo's signature hero I know that yeah I know that you're watching MP Lindo I know it's his signature hero his signature like he's insane on Val and Faramus Udo's yeah insane on Val and Faramus actually just not give the Valentina a lot more ultimate what do you think chicken I think it's definitely one of the most diverse metas we've had in a while would be a good in terms of like metas i think the meta hasn't been this diverse since like m3 since m3 the metas have been super strict and like very constrict constrictive constrictive is that the right word i think it is constrictive on like what heroes you have to pick and this meta it's like you can pick a lot of different things game one of our last series and then i feel like the team's kind of distanced themselves from that pick went for the uh, vexana the the odette as well so i'm very interested to see where oh the, the nana still out there as well maybe we also the buff mega minions dude they're so strong the mega minions i didn't realize how strong they were until i played like a 40 minute game yesterday so they're so insanely strong double think of like uh, you know picking up that uh, that nana actually because they still have that valentina to consider um it can actually be a menace to the barrettes or maybe even the valentina in the mid lane 
but I'm still thinking something along the lines of a uh, uh, yeah, a Lilia or perhaps like a Valir in the mid lane that can really make it hard here for Aerith the, the again, bro. Here, the it didn't work last game. You're gonna go for it again? Did pretty well Why? In, in game number one, but at the same time, it was all right. Whatever. Maybe maybe cope. As well as make a difference this time. Cope. It'll so, do better. Cope. You know what? It's, uh, we win these. Cope. Carry up against the heart. This can definitely we do better. Cope. The carry in the early game, right? With the uh, uh, oh. the advantage it does. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah, Let's cope the Pope. Tossing these things so that they bring it out. So what do you want to see from? Okay, yeah, they, they're picking up. What do you want to see from the home boys then? Oh, Basha, her friend, they have a very friend style. The threat, the menace. Nana that, from Red. Uh, people have yet to see in that Nana that has been uh, that has been picked out here. I'm very. <laughs> I'm surprised uh, they are not picking it, Nana as much. I really think she's like kind of busted. Cutesy picks that uh, people never really paid attention to. Now with the recent changes, she could chain her skills together. Now the Molina hits more than one person uh, it, yeah. on impact. Like as soon as it lands, uh, so it's basically like a, a Molina grenade. That Molina grenade. There, Take a peek on Bamba. Uh, she can calm. She can calm. Nah. Here, I'll take a peek. I'll take a peek at how the other game's going. But I mean, Barrier's goal is 3 0, but we saw last game. We know how this goes, chat. They have a lead, but they're going to lose this lead. Actually, Pasawa kind of just had an awful ult there. Well, I'm going to watch this turtle fight. Blink with the ult, and Sasa got the red tree. The fact that the okay, maybe maybe they win. Who knows? I'm watching this game still. <laughs> Dude, how come is it whatever stream I'm not watching is more interesting, man? Come on, come on. I'm gonna cry. Why is it so much less interesting? Talk to me. Can the game start already so I can watch? I was gonna watch this. Uh, Bomba's kind of 0-2 on the YZ right now, chat ain't looking good. Ain't looking good for Bomba right now. Hiko's kind of just, just dead. Oh, he's oomed! He chased him across! What the hell? Sawa can't defend this on his own. And Bomba died again, but they got a trade. But... Alright, now, now we go back to the real game. AP Bwen. Why is that in turn right? I have no idea. Don't ask me. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, Sapat so struggling a little bit here versus the Borg, man. But yeah, it's a very hard lane to play as Barats for sure. Maybe it's like a 10 stacks, but maybe you can do something, but not until then. Honestly, like Brian kind of just stomps this game with their draft. Chibi is on Helker, which is very interesting. I'm not sure how long that will go. Okay, Nets gets the thing, but it doesn't matter. Mark gets the gold. <laughs> Oh, flap. He's going to lose his armor. Right. Udo here. They do not need to force flap. Oh, wait, Chibi. Bye, and goodbye, Zorn. Oh, my lord. My lordy lord. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Wow. Did you see the flicker out from flap TZ? The flicker <laughs> off, I'm flat, bro. Did you see the fucking? Did you see anything? I couldn't see anything. It was the hell kernel. It was all dark. I couldn't see anything. How'd you see that? With the chemistry that AP Brand has, they had that backup. Kalteezy was able to pick up that first kill. Overall, AP Brand is just winning it. Home bots. They're prepared to take on to homeboys. Let's see if uh, Homeboys can actually go in for a steal here because you still have that Dark Knight Falls to actually steal in the objective here. Kalti's gonna be working up this first. This turtle's gone. I don't know why Chibi's even bothering going over to it. I don't think he, he might try. If he jumps, he's dead. He ulted. Just gets chunked by a few, bro. He's literally going to die. Okay, no, he lives. There's no way he goes for his blue, right? Bro, this is so bad for Homeboys. They lose so hard already. If Homeboys can't cheese win the early game, it's GG. They lose. Yeah, the nice zoning to their Got blinded by red. his own ult. That that's that's crazy. Wait, Marco. Don't get solo killed by Nets. Okay. Wait, Nets that going crazy, dude. I think he's like tank carrying a fighter emblem though. 
more advantage when it comes to the range. As you can see, Ogwen already rotating towards this bottom side to give a little bit more of that assist. I think that shows. It's very obvious. If Marco's yeah, staying, I, I there's definitely someone here. It's like very, very obvious someone's here. He but if Nats has ult, he can easily 1v2. The man, only problem is mana. I don't know why he's always chilling mid. He's going. Oh, Nats with a 1v2 kill on the Super Marco. Okay, Nats. You're crazy. Oh, his orange steals the camp. Yeah, you better dust us. I would yeah. dust us too after stealing camp. So Pot's kind of like in a bad lane, but oh, Kyle, by by Sapat. It was a uh, it was a life. It was a, it was a good life lived. Nah, he was dead there no matter what. The only thing he could have possibly done was like ult out, then flicker, and then maybe he could have gotten farther away enough. Either that, or he just ults x -Borg, takes out his armor, then flickers away so he can't ult on him. But he's probably just dead there regardless. It was a greedy, very greedy cut. Kyle looking for a collapse here on the Cheapy. Oh my god! Wait, Cheapy! Ults Kyle! Kyle getting jumped on by Nuts and Cheapy together! The spikes go out! Kyle! Udo! Udo gets the kill! There goes Kyle. But Udo gets shot by Flav. Flav was a flicker ult. I'm not sure about Flav if that's going to work out. Oh, Flav gets the kill. But Udo. All right, Udo. So Pops eats. Flav, Flav. Does not get pulled out in time. And that should be a free turtle for homeboys. Good fight. Good good contest from homeboys. Good pick on a Kyle as well. Thank you, too. Whoa. What was that reset? Okay, good red tree and second skill. That was cool. Wait, Marco back at Solkamai. That's again. Nets needs a run. Oh, Zorn, good ult. Slow down Kyle, but he might be dead. He might be dead. Oh, nice dodge. Wait. Wow. But Borg's gonna get free gold top. Borg just needs to farm, bro. He's gonna be so strong if he just farms. I don't know why Sapat's like playing bot now, but I think Chibi might just catch top wave. Funnel some gold, you know what I'm saying? Uh, make much of a difference here because so far okay never mind Zor's just going top they're just saying fuck that top wave fuck the tower i guess uh Zor should just ult export here if he has ult get rid of his armor so he doesn't have ults flap can just ult out but he has no flicker wait flap's just dead never mind goodbye flap you died honorable soldier turret for kill trade is fine not big deal there as well bringing him up uh mark okay i, I get a free dude giving a behind a marksman a free bot tower is like the worst thing you can do such a horrible rotation from homeboys you have a marksman you already put behind almost solo killed twice solo killed once and then you give him a free tower and free waves like what is that rotation from homeboys actually just bad <laughs> literally such a bad rotation if they don't have that purify, it is the time to go up uh, for the setup or maybe waste out those purifies before those big clashes. But Reason about Helker pick, bro, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I don't know why either. Hours after taking in that uh, second turtle of the game. Yeah, and uh, it's, I mean, I, I do like that Sapat's kind of rotating around now. He's able, outside of the laning, uh, the laning start of this game, I mean, the laning, he was going to have the biggest problem uh, because uh, his whole kit is based on being able to kind of kick and maintain his uh, Oh, Chibi. Now Never mind. On the Kyle going for Nets. Right now. You can see Nets on a great spot. Your purifies doesn't matter. He's going to die instantly. Ult goes off. Quickly Chibi gets the turtle to trade. To the Nets' turtle. life is life. Turtle. Was Orn also is actually gonna get out. Okay. Turtle for Chibi for, for Nets head. For Nets fear furry head. Is that worth? Honestly, I don't think so because I think, dude, AP Bren has such a strong late game, and the fact that Homeboy's in the snowballing harder is kind of just over. I mean, it was already over because it's AP Bren, but oh, flap. No armor. It is gonna die. No flicker either. Actually, Udo does not have the damage to kill. No skills up. Udo actually to get out. Flap lives. We'll play by Flap. Dude, Ogwin's doing so much on the Matilda. He's saving them so hard. For the turtle take, so still some nice trade-offs there across the board for AP Brand. 
For me, side is zero. Is the two zero? Okay, we'll check really quick. Wait, Paris actually has a massive lead. Okay, uh, I hope Brent two zeros then quad for Paris. I hope. They can actually take in this lord. They do have the Dark Knight Falls. Yeah, Dark Knight I mean, falls right. on uh, your mom, your mother. Comes to uh, the last seconds of trying to take this lord. If they can kind of maintain. Did it push this? Yeah, yeah I think so. Kind of tank a lot of the damage. Who's going to be able to sit in the lord pit and uh, really kind of like uh, claim it? Whereas Chibi is going to have to really be very careful about when. Ooh, he comes bro, who in says Chibi like Chibi? In, bro, like Chibi. Chibi has to be careful. Chibi in a very bad spot here. Zorn, go ahead, I don't like it. Like Sapat. Yep, fifteen seconds. I think everybody. X Orn. Right just pronounce it the most like ignorant way possible. So Needs. Go back to their base, Got Keel Keel Tizia. The, uh, the we got Pahu. We got Ogan. We got Flap Tizia. Oh, Sapa with the Flicker Ults. Anzo, Super Marco, Sparky, now Flicker out in time. Udo with the Flash Sandy killing. Super Marco. Got Super Marco. Marco. Marica. Marica. We got Udda. We got Adile. Adile. Should be a free lord for homeboys. It's kind of looking for a steal. Can he get it? No, nope. Sapat blocks it off. Kyle will actually just die here to Nets. Oh my god, Nets actually way too deep. Purifies out. Is he gonna live? Dodges the last of Sandy. Can he live? Gets the shield off. Not gonna be enough. Flap with the flicker. And Ogun with the save. Saves Flap as well. Nice. Oh, Zorn. Wait, that's an ins. Okay. I don't know if Kyle reacted that fast or if that was completely accidental, but that jump was. That jump cancel was nasty. There's no way Kyle reacted that fast, right? You're gonna have the violent. Requiem coming out from there's the no way and then I don't Sepat know is right there behind to scoop them up with that Daytona as well set hot yeah bottom side too like homeboys is doing their best to pressure. that was coincidence I'm pretty sure it's coincidence too this, uh, lead that they have I don't think it was planned 2k goalie and lord for homeboys let's see if we can get like all the outer turrets first lord getting all the outer turrets that's good value for both sides right like both are trying to take but if you can't get like all but one tower with the first lord kind of not really that great I mean, obviously it's better than losing it but you know you want the most value out of it if you want to snowball and so and like homeboys they need to snowball here with their comp Bren has a very good late game comp and homeboys are already struggling Sapat is like almost near useless he's only good if he can ult marco he decides Alguin decides against uh, continuing and getting the pop up there. Like Zorn needs to force purify or someone does to where Sapat can eat him and then need the dog on Marco without Ogwin saving him. But the thing is like with Holt with Bren, they just gotta scale and they just win. Nana can one shot. Marco will do damage as a tank carry. Flap will literally just shred the front line. It'll be so good once Bren gets late game. Uh, Super Marco they seem to make it there. Right? Alright, let's see. The Burmese win yet? Not enough once you get surrounded here by homeboys. You still got the Detona. Nah, they're still like struggling. Uh, Sipat, it's a 16 gold lead, though. I'll watch this game, though. Fortunately enough, the gold lead is not that far. Perhaps, like, uh, either they take down the uh, Chibi before it's the Onic time. Up, or maybe oh, is over the jump onto Flap. Not really gonna do much, though. Flap, yeah, no armor, there, the can't really re engage. Kind of deep. That spot. Kyle's Kyle losing half HP. Chibi, Kyle, Kyle getting pulled, pulled out by Ogwin as well. Zorn looking for a re engage, maybe. Chibi with the ult goes off. Zorn with the flicker jump on his Marco, forcing him purify of his Zorn. Why did he go over the wall? Zorn falls, fuses his passive, Kyle falls, or Kyle's not fall, Chibi falls. That's not a great spot. For 1v1 versus Ma Marco. Wait, that's Spot. That's just going fucking crazy. That's just going crazy. He just 1v2 Marco and Flap. Oh, but Spot eats Flap. Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, Flap, the ults. Wait, Flap's really deep now. And that's with his ult back. Cannot keep going, though. Wait, that's just popping. That's just cooking. Let him. Cook. And backs up. Hold on, let him cook, chat. Yeah, two for the price of that's his cooking. That Boy, he cooking. Up against Nets, who's just dancing around. 
taking a look at the items here. He has picked up the uh, Nutty Nets. Nets is nutting all over them, guys. <laughs> Maybe perhaps going, going in for uh, the Demon Hunter Sword as his next item. Nets is nuts. Is go He's nutting. Nets when it comes to the gold lane. 8,000 for him, and Super Marco is still behind by 1,000. 35,000 yeah. for the homeboys. They're looking to take mm. in this. Is this knocked out? Dude, I have no idea what this format is like. Pick off swords already setting something. He ain't there. coping. He cooking. He does not have to conceal though. Yeah, so he's, he's waiting. We're at the Lord just down to about 10%. Looking for a bait. I think homeboys are very confident in their ability to team fight this. So they're kind of very slow. Let's take anything more on its Arco Seal. Yeah, but well, if Marco gets Seal over, it does kind of fuck over Nets. Is on the but Nets map. is netting all over him, you know? As they're doing that, as they're kind of slow playing it. Oh, yeah, Nets is from Monic PH, I forgot. Their way towards their tower. So they have like an Indo import and a PH import. That's actually kind of funny. Reset. Probably a run, a very import from both regions. Doesn't know if they want to fight, doesn't know if they want to leave. Them alone. They're coming back in coping and cooking now. yeah this is not they should not coin i mean i think homeboy has a better coin flip because they can have barrage just eat kyle but chibi needs to kind of be close and it's hard for him to position correctly friends just master they slow push bot and now all boys can't clear it so if they go from Oakland very early but they cannot clear the bot wave bro it, like brand is in complete control of this lord look at that bot wave they're gonna lose their bot high ground because of this chibi one shots by few Oh my lord! And Brent wins. And Brent wins the game now. And Brent wins. Look at Sapots. He can't do anything versus Flap. Bye Sapots. And it's GG. Nah, nah, just burst in Chibi, bro. Chibi just got none at all over. I'm stopped now. FabTZY. FabTZY. Homeboys are facing a luminous lord heading down the bottom lane while uh, I'm sure we're probably going to see AP Brand trying to exert some pressure onto these uh, the top and mid lane. Oh, that's interesting. Owen just picked up. He got not on it on. That's actually great. He got not on it on. Not on it. <laughs> They can just kill the Lord and just go straight in for oh, the Oh, goodbye, Chibi. I mean, they can't even kill the Lord. Wait, never mind. That's just not... That's easy to just ult the Lord, no? Okay, never mind. They're not really going to get there in time. Yeah, already His DPS is shit without ult. Have to have an answer for it. Unfortunately, Chibi a little late with that Dark Knight falls. Still gets Fap Teezy fapping on the map. Nets gets one HP from Nana. I don't know what the Nana ult's called. Udo, Circle, or Last Insanity, but not really going to do much. Zorin can't really set, they have three purifies. Sapat can't even engage, bro. They have all purifies, what can you do? Sapat's actually just a useless rat this game. Literally just useless. Flap with the ults. Super Marco puts the finishing touches on the high ground and they all decide against uh, pursuing this any further. They got one more Lord and it does look like homeboys uh, might be at the, the last minutes of their game. All right. Goodbye, homeboys. Yeah, That's GG for sure. This game's still going? Like that after that okay, we're watching this game. Uh, this game's over, chat. It. This game is over. This game is more interesting. That, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> that that game, like Bren versus Homeboys, is over. Bren wins for sure. But this game is actually 21 minutes long. Very interesting. Kind of over extension here. Should those wolves should enjoy probably one or two. I play next. I don't think Onik plays today, chat. I think they play tomorrow. But Kip Bomba, Devu versus Burmese. Devu's kind of a 0 4. Oh, but Burmese. Wait, Nico just lost his ammo. Dies. Who gets Lord, though? They can't burst. Stitch losing half his HP to the Sunset Lover. Magister quite deep. Dilar going in for a play. Yeah, okay, Dilar, goodbye. Sasa looking for a play here. Petrify goes off, but Stitch has Purify. Win as well. Bomba falls. Oh my lord, but he falls as well. So Nico falls. Sasa falls. It's a 3v4. Can they even defend? No XP, but they have Marksman. They need to clear everything. Nico's up in 15. Can they stall?
Why Stitch has no purify. Poor Sunset Lover. Sunset Lover's gonna flicker, flicker snare Stitch. Watch. Ult goes off. Eco, base. GG. And it's a 2 0. Wait, there's two 2 zeros, bro. Alright, we go back. This game's still not over. Points, uh, to his name, but now Homeboy is going to be dealing with a Luminous Lord coming down through mid lane. As we take they lost Lord? Island. Yeah, not really a surprise. Yeah. Let's, uh, the last Insanity be popped there by... Uh, flight Curse? Yeah, I went there and they lost. I actually Flight Curse. Two Lords in the base. At the same time, they defend the Lord. I'm a little bit behind. We go live. And AP Brand said, okay, let's stop at that. Let's not go for They defend the Lord. Got all high grounds. Went in and went now it's just kind of fucked for homeboys. Unless they get like a miracle play. Actually, or like he's one or something. We know it's kind of popping off. We know the Nets are kind of just boosting homeboys. And everyone else is just throwing. You can, you can, it's kind of funny actually to look at. There's such a big skill gap between Udo and Nets and the rest of the team. Could be the deal here for AP Brand if they manage to steal in this Lord. Yeah, right now I think the the focus should be on a few. Oh, bye, Chibi. Goodbye, Chibi. I don't know why he waits so long to second skill. He just gets demo, gets it out. That's crazy. Few the premature ults, but it's fine. Zorn jumps, but it's kind of wastes. Still, I don't know. Zorn is doing some emotes, and not. Dude, those minions are so tanky. It's actually just insane how tanky they are. They say this is their jungle now. Yeah, the thing is, uh, Kyle Tizi is not gonna be easy to take down here, right? Uh, pretty much like the Fredrin, once it gets the items here, it can pretty much counter out. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I saw um, a Radiant Armor being picked up there. Chibi's in the prime victim and of the prime victim is bullies. Uh, what does that mean? Already. 60 seconds in, I think, for the whole so retire here. for the love of God, Lord, Jesus. But it's not gonna be easy. Everybody still has their purify up. Well, they have to deal with the insane burst that few has. And yeah, Brian's late game is so strong. Support's the useless into their comp late game. They have two true damage heroes yeah, so and then percent the HP. What can Support even do? Like they just purify whenever you eat someone, unless they somehow have don't. Like, maybe eat, eat Barats or eat the fucking Basha Lord. That's about it. That's all I think he can do. It's really useless. Uh, uh, of Kyle with the Das Das. Double Blood Wings on Ogwin and Few. Ogwin's got his signature Mage Matilda build with the Holy Crystal and Blood Wings. Kind of crazy. Pretty signature for Ogwin. Yeah, 20 minutes in. I think at this point, Ogwin Matilda is just so good, man. He's so nuts on the hero. Crazy. Between these two teams, one mistake again could actually turn this entire thing around. So everybody's gonna have to be extra careful here. We see the necklace of drones being. You know what's crazy when the fucking mage Matilda Rome is almost full build. That's how late the game is going. Lord Dance, Kyle T's gonna be working up, starting up this. Matt, they were just so cringe, but it's smart though, because they have Assassin Helkert. Look, Owen's literally going to solo Chibi. He forced Rose Gold with his ults that has like a 20 second cooldown. Oh, Sapat with the flicker ults onto few, few insta purifies. Sapat loses Zemo. Chibi falls, but Kyle T's falls. Sapat is going to die. Flicker from Flap. He's going to lose his Zemo. Is it gonna matter though? Nets does not have his ult back. Has the wall to run around. Be long for this world from that's three for one, but they have no retry. Neither team is retry. Three for one. That's looking for a play, but I don't think he'll, he'll be able to do anything. But it does look like oh, and oh, they're trying to. They, they still want. They have the taste for blood now. They're not letting. Uh, they're not wanting to let nets go free. <laughs> Oh, Ogwen. Oh my uh, god, Ogwen's damage, bro. Bro, look at his damage! GG. Wow, they just pushed it and G G two zero for AP Brand and two zero for for Devu. Oh boys needs a maybe they need five they need three more imports guys they need three more imports to contest with them three more imports and they got a chance. What is this music? Three more imports, Chad. They might have a chance. I appreciate if you guys like the stream some as well, all that good stuff. And with the numbers advantage that AP Brand had in that final clash, I don't think any other series are more interesting today. Let me check the schedule.
Yeah, I, I want to say uh, hats off to homeboys who put in a, a, a valued effort, especially because, uh, well, we could take a look at the stats first here. Uh, you see, uh, unfortunately, Chibi not having the, the most success on the Hellcurt here. Uh, it was, a, it was a, I want to say... What's the next match? The book, they tried to pull I'm pretty sure nobody cares about the next matches. Seem to pay off it's going to be China versus Gambodia. That Matilda. Oh, Gwen, that and exactly Nightmare why. Esports, I think it's Nepal. Paul versus Royal Cyber Sports Club, I think is Russia. So I think it's Russia versus Nepal and then China versus Cambodia. So I'm probably just gonna go to sleep because it's 8 a.m. Gonna play rank? No, I'm just gonna go to sleep, dude. It is 8 a.m. I have not slept. I'm kind of tired. Tomorrow I'll probably stream this for sure. Maybe I'll like stream the first series. Mid to late game, he actually picked up the blood. But it is 8 a.m. He's actually going for that. I am uh, tired. Damage, I probably eat so much more magic. I will eat that they had apart from probably. Banana. So, eep. overall, I think for eight time, it was a good time. Game. the decision Sleep time. that they have, even in those crew, can bottom matches win? I mean, they just played over here. So, well, uh, then we just two zeroed. Homeboys or Burmese, Burmese. I thought they're gonna win this game, honestly, Burmese, but they kind of lost, I guess. Look at private background. Yeah, what about it? For a two zero sleep up against the Burmese ghouls. What about it? And like we said, this just happens uh, from practice synergy. And you sleep at 8 a.m. What a productive person! I'm literally watch partying. I'm literally working right now. I am very productive. These folks performed. I don't sleep at this time normally. I'm only up right now because this. Now, having a huge advantage with a two zero sweep is going to tie them with RRQ Hoshi. That's going to put Team Lil Gun and also. Their opponent losing that one for that match for me schools. I'll and come tomorrow. So far for group yeah, and that's came as well. Fortunately, he didn't he didn't come enough. Schools, team Logan, all over uh, how these two bread. Do progressing forward. Uh, but so far, all right, guys, team, if you haven't already like the stream, sub as well, all, all the good sports. stuff. Uh, I'll see you all when I stream music. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. If I don't get yeah, a yeah, copyright strike on my channel, my channel goes down. We will see. Like, Anywho, hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Like, I'm going to go sleep. It is 8:30 a.m. I'm tired. Bye-bye. See you all tomorrow.